Testing, testing. Mic check, mic check. One, two, one, two. <laughs> I fucking... I feel... I feel my soul coming out of my body when I said that. It wasn't a funny joke. <laughs> so, we're back. More Phoenix Wright. As I fix my microphone, as always. <clears throat> I've made a couple of mistakes already. First of all, I feel vastly unprepared for the stream. Second of all, I did the number one rule before recording anything, which is do not eat anything. I fucked that up. So at some point, <laughs> yes sir. So at some point, I'm definitely gonna have to run to the bathroom. The, the other thing I fucked up is I didn't get a fucking I didn't get a glass of water for this game where I have to talk and read a lot. But that's okay. What the hell's happening out there? Sound like some bad things are going outside my door. Hold on. Hold on. Give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay, I apologize for that, I am back. Apparently, there seems to have been some upsets with the child in the middle of the night. Said child started crying, and we can't have that, no, no, no. Can't have none of that at fucking two o'clock in the morning. All right, so where the hell was I at last time? This is part two trial, part three investigation. Okay, yes, it's all coming back to me. It's only been a week, it's all coming back to me though. So, we did the, we did the, um, the first trial, well, part two trial, I guess. The clown gave his, uh, testimony, and so did the ventriloquist, and judge determined that there is not enough evidence to go on. Evidence has been provided, well, not evidence has been provided, but we have found out that the, the perpetrator left the scene of the crime via flight. Like, he's fucking Green Lantern or some shit. And... What else we have here? Let's see. Oh, we have our... We have the monkey money. Who steals shit. We have yet to meet Akro the... Akro? Why did I say it like that? Akro the acrobat. Uh... Fucking... Engagement ring for Regina. From... From Triloquest. And then, apparently, Billy Bob, a.k.a. Max Galactica, fucking cracked Ben over the head with a bottle. Like it was bum fights or some shit. A wooden box, which had salt in it. My bad, not salt, pepper. Had pepper in it. <laughs> not quite salty there, we're not there yet. Time of death, blunt force trauma. Alright, it's all coming back to me. All of it. The Big Berry Circus. Moe's a jackass. Documents for his salary. Picture of the crime scene. My man slumped over like he had a he had a crazy night. So crazy enough that he died. All right. <clears throat> As I clear my throat, because fucking talking is a pain in the ass for me. All right. So first things first. Think we need to head to Max. Ask him like, Yo, Max, what's up? Why are you such a jackass? Why everybody hates you? Oh, my sweeties. You mind hurrying up and getting me out of this place? 
We're doing our best, Max. Just hang in there. A little while ago, some people from a local TV station came by. And since I'm frame, since I'm a famed magician, 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 they said, "Let's make you our very own TV special." Really? What kind of TV special? Maximilian Galactica: The Great Prison Escape would be <laughs> would be aired live. Wouldn't that be like pretty pretty damn condemning evidence? You know what I mean? Like, how how did he escape? Well, this is how he escaped. We saw it live. <laughs> Hey, how's it going, Shark? A cool hip Shark. He's a cool guy. Cooler than Baby Shark. Hey, that sounds like it would be an awesome special. Yeah, if you want to fucking earn life in prison. But if I do a special before I'm acquitted, they'll never let me out of here for real. Exactly. <laughs> well, it would surely be an unnecessary addition to your troubles with the law. I uh, fuck the law and the law one. Attempting to watch this in anime at the same time? Oh shit, good luck with that. Hey Jay, how's it going? I haven't seen you in a while. Um... That's... Wait, where the fuck was I? That's what I was thinking. But the production staff is already working on the show. How they work on a show already without your say-so? If you don't get me out of here quick... I'll, wait, you, you accepted the show before you got free? What kind of a jackass is this guy? What's up? Nothing much. Playing some, I just hit my fucking microphone. I apologize for that. <laughs> Nothing much. Playing some Ace Attorney. We're on the third trial. Uh, so far, it's it's not as good as the other two to me, but the characters are fine, so I'm liking it. I really I have no fucking theories as to what the hell happened on this trial though, and we're approaching the third trial of the case, so we gotta get some information real quick. If you don't get me out of here quick, I'll have no choice but to stage a real prison break. You seem awfully calm about this possibility. I have no choice. It would be a contra what? Con contractual obligation. That's showbiz for you. Okay. Let's see. Night of the murder. So, Max, tell me why'd you do it. The night of the crime, you didn't happen to fly off into the sky, did you? Here's how everything went down, sweetie. How far in the case am I? We are on investigation day three. I believe it's day three, right? Yeah, it is day three. Yeah, it is day three. <laughs> is that what it said? Hold up, let, let me check. Let me check. Make sure that I'm not crazy about this. Yep, part three, investigation. Day three, investigation. <clears throat> At the time of the murder, I was sitting in the ringmaster's room. Not to mention, flying off into the sky is not just something I can do at will. I don't care what the Stoogie's, what the Stoogie clown says. It wasn't me. Come here, banging on a sofa. It wasn't me. Max! Do you mind teaching me the trick behind flying? Hmm, well, you have to forgive me, sweetie. The difference between me and cheap imitation magicians is I can keep my mouth shut, except for the time when you told me that you just do it with rope. I don't teach people tricks, but I will say this much, it's much harder than you think. Yeah. I was thinking about this in court today. I've got a favor to ask you. Anything for you, sweetie? Be friends with the other performers in the circus. Fabulous! A <laughs> great joke. Why would I be friends with a bunch of hacks like them? But... Ah, but nothing. I've won on the world stage. I won the International Grand Prix. International Grand Prix? I never understood that word. It's pronounced Grand Prix, but it has an X in it. So you want to say like Grand Prix or shish or whatever the hell. Performers should always look to perform on the world stage. But the performers at this circus are completely and utterly devoted of ambition. That is something that I can simply not tolerate. Ambition, huh? Something about what Max just said rings true to my ears. I wouldn't say they lack ambition. I mean, look at Mo. Even in court, he's trying to crack jokes, and nobody likes him, but he still does it. And, and Ventriloquist is just weird. <laughs> oh my, my sweeties. Want to hear all about the Grand Prix, don't they? To be honest, though, I told this story like a hundred times already, so it's a bit boring. We're sorry to make you tell it again. You must have not heard me. I'm really sick of telling this story. So what you're telling me, Max, is that you cheated. But what can you do? I'm Maximilian Galactica. I suppose I can tell it again. Voila! Here, take a look at this. I just happen to have a picture from the Grand Prix with me. 
Just look at the fabulous stage. That is the first stage that I ever flew on. I flew right over the audience. The crowd erupted into applause. At that time, I thought to myself that I could die right then and die a happy man. I'll never forget how I felt that night. The emotions, the acclaim, the money, the ladies. Wow. Cool story, bro. Can you, like, tell it again? <clears throat> Anyways. I think everyone who is a performer should get to experience that... To, blah, 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 should get to experience the feeling. I just wish I could explain that to other people in the circus. That's incredible, Max. I want a trophy, too. Hey, Nick. How about you buy me a trophy? I will do no such thing. That's not how you earn trophies, Maya. But don't worry, Maya. You'll always have the trophy to my heart. My sweeties, you can have this picture of my triumph. Just make sure you show it to all the other members of the circus. Rub it in their faces. Look and learn. And that's what you should tell them. Learn how to get thrown in jail? Damn. Once again, find out that multitasking is impossible. <laughs> You know, you know, speaking about that fucking, if I, if I could somehow just learn Japanese, I would multitask like a motherfucker and just play anime in the background all the time. <laughs> I feel that. I mean, what I do is, uh, if I watch a stream, well, most of the time I can't watch a stream live. I don't know why. I just, it's just not in my schedule. But, um, whenever I watch someone's, like, archive of a stream, I'll probably, like, play a game or maybe, uh do some editing and have it like on in the background like a podcast but I don't know how you would do a do watching TVs and this at the same time okay so Max gave us a whatchamacallit his photo look how beautiful he is look at that bust look at those wonderful ladies and all the magic and sparkles I love it wait does he have I thought he had like different what the hell I thought he was wearing something different never mind Still wearing all his signature shit. Like to draw and watch streams most of the time. Yeah, that's true. I used to do that a lot. I used to do that in that Spanish class where my fucking teacher didn't like me. <laughs> I'd be like, fuck you. Oh, also, I was one of those kids who somehow just had random approval to like constantly have headphones on because I always just did my work. To the point where people get mad at me. They're like, how come he can fucking wear headphones and shit? And it's like, because he does his work. <laughs> You hear that? It sounds like two people arguing. Alright, let's do it. Are you ready? Oh, wait, this is Trillo. <clears throat> Here comes my shitty Brooklyn accent. I forgot how I did it before. Alright, let's do it. Are you ready? I, I can't even do it. Fuck it. Uh, yeah. Oh, what? Wait. Quit your, quit your whining. Let's just give this a shot already. Oh, alright. Let's go. Row, row, row your boat. Row, row, row your boat. What are you doing? Gently down the stream. Come on, you know that. I'm trying my best, but Trillo, this just isn't going to work. Do you enjoy saying dumb things? You're gonna have, wait, you're going to have to be your own, you're gonna have to be on your own someday. If you can't handle something as simple as this, what are you gonna do to them? Hello, Ben. Hello, you two, Trillo. What are you doing here? Can't you see we're on a secret crash training course? I'm sorry. Secret crash training? Wow. Whoa! The puppet with no brim. <laughs> yes. Trilla would, uh, Trilla would give up until I said we try out his idea for a new routine. So, we're trying to sing in a round, uh, sing in a round for our new ventriloquism act. In a round? You can really do that? That's incredible. See? See? Even they're surprised by the idea I told you. They're not the only ones. You even surprised me with the idea. Once we got a grip on the basics, then it's just a matter of practice. Y you think so? Oh, I almost forgot. I wanted to give this back to you. Ah, there it is. Now that I got this ring back, it's time to take one more shot at Regina. I love this puppet. He's my favorite. This is... The puppet is what I want. Is what I asked Regina to be in my life. Look at his fucking smug ass face. Isn't that isn't that what you want to do with your life? You know, besides the part of having some dude with his hand up your ass, but forget about that part. Look at this guy. He's got it all made. He's got a spiffy ass suit. 
wonderful hair, beautiful brown eyes, a beautiful smile. Captivating, really. Hmm, I know you already testified in court today. What do you want to talk about? You want to talk about what we saw? Yeah. Well, at first we thought it was the old man. Just looking at his walking. Wait, what? Just looking at his walk and how he act? Right, Ben? Uh, oh yeah, that's right. But then we said hello and didn't, didn't even get a reply. Not to mention he was draped in those gaudy symbols. What would you have thought? Wait, what would you have thought if he wasn't wearing those symbols? Hmm, what would you think, Ben? What? Oh, um, I would have thought it was the ringmaster. These guys are exactly like the dude in Victorious. Oh shit, yeah, what's his name? Uh, what was his name, Robbie? I forgot the puppet's name. Shit. I love that post so much. He's like, he's like, oh my god, it was Sabotage. <laughs> Victorious was so good. I miss it. I find it weird that, um, somehow Ariana Grande got the most out of it. And all the other people just didn't get nothing out of it. I feel so bad for it. They deserve more. Hmm. Something just isn't adding up here. I wonder who they really saw. So what about this marriage? How's that gonna work out? I was hoping I could ask you about Regina. Just rewatched some episodes yesterday and it's good. It's so good. It really is good, man. It's just... You know, it's one of those shows where it's like, hey, we managed to have a show that children and young teens can watch, hell, even young adults, without treating them like they're stupid. Nowadays, you're just like, I don't even know what they fucking play on, on TV now. Good Luck Charlie or something? A show about how she's making video, a uh, video blog for her baby sister, and then somehow they have a fucking baby brother and just forget about Charlie altogether? I don't get it, man. I don't get it. It's weird. I was hoping I could ask you about Regina. I'm completely serious about her. That's why I waited for her even now. Really? That's so sweet. But if you really wanted to see Regina, wouldn't you check out the tent? Ah, you haven't got a clue about things, do you, sweetheart? Huh? Waiting like, waiting like this is part of being in love. How so? She's a housewife. If you had a clue, you would know what waiting is such sweet, wonderful to Wait, what? <laughs> you would know that waiting is such sweet, wonderful torture, so you're a masochist. When your body aches for your partner's love, that's one of the best parts. Eh, I'm not sure about that. I, I'm sure about going to the gym and having like a nice ache the next morning. I love that, but I'm not sure about waiting outside. I would know about that. One of my, uh, one of my security jobs, I had to stand still in a room with very expensive shit, no chair, nothing, for eight hours. And trust me, I did not do that job ever again. <laughs> I was like, get the fuck out of here with that. I'm supposed to stand there like a statue, yeah, and fucking stick my foot up your ass like a statue. <laughs> yeah, I knew that. Poor Maya. She's so red, she looks like a vine rape tomato. Wait, what? A vine ripe tomato. <laughs> I said vine rape. Are you kidding me? What's wrong with me? So how's this new routine working out? Will you two just take a chill pill already? Our routine our routine our routine is sacred. We're gonna take the ventriloquism world by storm. It'd be a real revolution. I mean, you're already talking it by storm. You're trying to marry... The puppet's trying to marry a human, and the human's all about it. That sounds incredible. But let me make one thing clear. We're not gonna take on the world just because that jerk said we should. That jerk? Max Galactica. Performers should aim for the world. Who does he think he is? How dare he? Trilla, you seem to be really fired up about all this. He needs to realize that it isn't the, that he isn't the only one who can conquer the world stage. You're right. You're right. Mark my words, I Trillo Quest will win the Grand Prix. You're the man now, doll. Roll, roll, roll your bolt. Will be the key to the glorious victory. Hmm. Not to rain on your parade, but wouldn't a more mature song be the best? Hey, you gotta start somewhere, right? Don't screw this up! You gotta be a part of this, too. Damn, let me see. What if I show him? 
What if I show him the picture that Max gave to us? Check it. Oh no, he's not gonna do anything. Yep. No, he's fine. Alright, well, I'm assuming that's all I have for you. Thanks for your time, Trillo. To the big top. Raindrop. Big top. <laughs> huh? Where's Regina? I don't know. Am I gonna get attacked by another fucking animal? But if she's with the tiger, I don't want to find out. Let's hurry up and get out of here. <laughs> Nick, you're kind of a chicken, aren't you? Chicken? I was mauled by a fucking tiger, then a monkey came and attacked me. Those things are dangerous. And, you, and the both of you were just sitting there talking about, Oh, it's fine, he's just playing. Like, I watched Tiger King. It's fucked up. No, 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 no. I'm just uh, allergic to wild tigers. I'm allergic to pain. That's what I'm allergic to. So she's not here. Maybe she's in the ringmaster's room. December 29th, big top. Max and the ringmaster had their talk in this room. That could have been when the ringmaster put on Max's costume and went outside, right in front of Max, and nobody realized it. Why'd he do that anyways? Was it really that cold or something? I The only thing I can think of is that he was probably... He was probably blackmailed, right? I mean, if he's such a nice guy, what would, what would make him just walk out disguised as someone else? He had to have been, like, blackmailed or something. Especially with the amount of money he was giving uh, Max. Someone must have been like, how come you can pay him that much, but you can't pay me? I know your secrets. December 29th, Big Top Cafeteria. They still haven't cleaned this place up yet. They probably got one look at the, st at the state of this place. She slapped whoever it was in charge across the face. Remind me to never invite her to my office. Damn, Nick. You dirty like that, too? I miss Pearl. I wonder what she's doing. She's, like, hanging at home right now. She was here in the beginning of the case, but she's not here no more. Okay. Let's see. Maybe Gumshoe is here? Where am I going? Lodging. Is Gumshoe out here? There he is. Oh, it's you two. You look like you just got hit by a truck. Should you get some rest? I'm guessing, uh... I'm guessing Von Karma kicked his ass, huh? I'm taking a rest right now, pal. I've been listening to some crazy clown's life story. This Von Karma told me to come down here and do it... Do this for her. Yeah, I figured as much. Let me tell you something, pal. Listening to the old clown sucks all your energy. Every time he's done talking, <laughs> he looks at you like you should be doing something. Hmm. I think he's waiting for you to laugh at his jokes. I know that, pal. Do you have any idea how much of a f how much your face hurts if you fake laugh that much? Francesca, oh god, that's it's weird to say her name. Francesca really set you up bad this time, didn't she? If you ask me, she should be listening to Mo herself. She would probably kill him. No way, pal. You're not gonna get me to bite, to bite, to backbite a woman with a whip. No way. Why are you defending her? Because I like it. Prosecutor Von Karma's always got her eyes on us. And every time you definitely don't want... And every time you definitely don't want her to show up, poof, there she is. Don't show up. Don't show up. Don't show up. Looks like she's wounded him pretty tight. Damn. She's directly above us as we speak. Huh? How's that possible? She's an angel. According to the clown, the culprit jumped from here and disappeared into the sky. What, so she's hanging on the rooftop? If that's what happened. It means the killer passed right by this window, pal. Oh, I see. Who lives in the room? Behind the window up there. The acrobat's got his room up on the third floor, it seems. Pretty soon, Von Karma's, uh... Miss Von Karma is gonna start her investigation up there. So don't get any ideas of going up to the acrobat's room. Got it, pal? I think I wanna go up to the acrobat's room. Miss <laughs> Francesca Von Karma. Once she's done with her investigation, I think I'll go up there and check it out. I don't want to see her outside of court. She almost killed me in court. Literally. She whipped me until I blacked out. And nobody said anything about it. They were all just cool about it. They're like, you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fucking raise a stink. 
she got it. She got it this time. You know? Alright. Mo's not here. If he was here, you would have been able to tell even before you stepped in the room. I'm sure you wouldn't heard I'm sure you would have heard him laugh anyways. <laughs> what do you think he's laughing at when he's all by himself? His paycheck, maybe? <laughs> I always thought he was just thinking up new jokes. Hmm. He must really love his work. Sometimes you gotta make yourself laugh, you know? Why did I move out? Oh yeah, I was supposed to. No one's there. <laughs> like, I just went on autopilot for a moment. I'm like, why did I walk out the room? Maybe someone's at the big top still? No? Is that, is that it? Really? Huh. Uh... Let's head back to the entrance. Maybe... I can talk to him about, uh... Oh, I don't have the ring no more, because I gave it to him. What about the monkey? Nope. Okay, what about Max? Nuh uh. Nothing? Hmm. What about Regina? Nothing. You're the only one that I can really talk to right now. Uh, poster. I mean, he talked about the Grand Prix. Maybe I can. No, I did that already. Alright, cool. Pepper. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Well, I guess I'll head back to the detention center. What do you have for me? Maybe I can show you some stuff. Talk to you about Regina. Ah, oh, my sweetie pie princess. She was really lonely without me cooped up in here. And actually, she was like, yeah, okay, I did this already. I definitely remember this. Uh-huh, very complex. Any ideas about, uh... Huh, this woman, uh. Well, my type of woman is gentle sweetie pie. Let that mean <laughs> let that mean what it means. Sounds like you're describing Regina. Well, he's definitely not describing Francesca. I find it hard to believe she's 18, man. She has to be like oh, come on. I look one glance at her, I'm like, she has to be at least like 23. She's 18? Jesus, man. She's the same age as you, Maya. Life is so unfair sometimes. I mean, I still love you, Maya, but come on. Come on. How do you expect me to... to compare those two? It's unfair. It's a losing battle. What about the mo uh, What about the monkey? No? Nothing about the monkey? What about this pepper? You know anything about this pepper? It goes good with burgers. Or as Maya liked to say in the first game, Hamburgs. Okay. Um... Shit. Really? I don't think there's nothing I can do in the office. I don't know why I ran in here. Just to listen to Maya's music. I love Maya's music. It fills me with happiness. Okay. Uh... Really? There's nothing at the... Let's head back. You know what? Let's head back to Moe's room. I want to do that. Wait, I didn't check the cafeteria. There we go. I have to come back to the cafeteria. Okay. There he is. All right. Welcome to the wonderful, the fabulous, the cafeteria. Yikes. He's in an awfully good mood. All right. You know what time it is. Riddle time. Riddle me this. Why does everyone cry when they eat Mexican pe- Listen, whatever offensive thing he's about to say, I do not support it. I just want to make that very clear. Um, come on, you gotta answer this, it's easy. Because cafeteria Mexican pizza is possibly a weapon of bowel destruction? What? Zzz, wrong. Try again. Okay, what do you think, girly? Hmm, I get it. Okay, what's your answer? Because they are in, because they are in the caf cafe cafeteria. What? <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. Exactly, it's an incredibly sad place. The cafeteria. What? Huh? I don't get it. <laughs> are you? 
Are you trying to tell me? Are you trying to tell me that Mexicans work in soup kitchens? Like, is that what you're saying? I don't get it. I did it. What do you mean you did it? I hate you people. I hate all of you. <laughs> What's going on? He's being too nice. Fucking, I don't know, man. I don't know what this guy is on about. One time he's singing Fresh Prince of Bel Air. The next time he's fucking talking about a, a priest, a rabbi, and a Rastafarian. This guy's on some shit. I bet he ain't even smoked weed yet. He's just high as fuck. Today's been a real crazy day, hasn't it? You're telling me. I didn't think it was gonna be. I didn't think it was gonna be so tough. Tough. Yeah. It was a tough crowd. That's what you'd call a crowd that refuses to laugh. Or maybe you just call them people with sense of humor. For instance, it was such a tough crowd this morning, I had to smash watermelons. Huh? I told them all a great story and even greater jokes, but no one bu busted out laughing. You even used the famed no shoe, no shirt, no service joke. Exactly. How can you not laugh at a stunning comedy like that? Easily. Are you 100% sure about your testimony today? I saw what I saw, I swear. That creep just... flew through the air? It wasn't exactly flying per se, it's more like floating. The silhouette of his face made me positive it was Max. I don't see a psychic lock, he must be telling the truth. Huh. What if I show you this picture? Ah, not this picture. He showed it to you guys too? Huh? You seen it as well? Well, you look like, uh... This is what happens when I don't have a fucking glass of water by my side. Damn it, I'm choking up on my own words now. Well, you know what they say about Maximilian Galactica. He really gets around. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> don't laugh at his jokes, Maya. Oh yeah, he didn't just show me the picture. What do you mean? He showed me his bus too. Let me... Showed you his bus? Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you the thing. It's a... Wow, it's enormous. Where are you going with this clown? Going to an unsafe place? In this... Uh, it's in the picture, I think. He makes us worship... worship uh, I can't say the word worship. He makes us worship it every day. He made us bow to his greatness. Really? He's got a big bust. Don't... Don't repeat that to yourself, Phoenix. I wouldn't mind hearing more about Max's bus, not that I'm into that sort of thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're talking about... You're barking up the wrong tree, Phoenix! Maya's right there! Max's bus should be on that small table over there. Ah, so that's... That's why it's like one spot clean there. Somebody yoinked that shit. There's nothing over there. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Hmm. When was it? Say about five days ago, all of a sudden, the bus disappeared. It disappeared? If you want to see it, it... I, d I just had a great idea. And by great, I mean kind of stupid, but it's Phoenix Wright, so whatever. Maybe. So he said... Alright, Clown said... First of all, this is a stupid testimony. He said he saw a silhouette of his face, which... I don't care whose silhouette of a face you see, it's still a silhouette, so you can't really tell details. That's what a silhouette is. It's kind of an outlining, but whatever. So maybe... Maybe someone took... Someone took... Someone went... Oh, let's say somebody went on the roof, right? Took Max's... Took some rope. Took the bus. Took Kate. Took his hat. Put it on the bus. Wrapped it around the bus. Fucking dragged it through the roof, made it look like he was walking somewhere. You know, the murder happened, fucking take the rope, swing it at him. The bus hits him in the back of the head, and they just pull it up by the rope. Just pull it up on top of the roof, and it looks like he's flying away. I'm assuming that's what I got right now. <laughs> but it's not all that far-fetched when you think about it. If you want to see it, there's a photo on the bulletin board over there. Max just had to put the picture up. Hmm. Hey, this thing's really cool. Nick, I want someone to make a bust of me. Sure, as long as I'm not paying for it. Aww. Fucking Maya, why don't you get some money? 
actually, maybe I shouldn't say that because doesn't she work for- isn't she my assistant? Shouldn't I be paying her? <laughs> Is there anything else that changes about this place? No, nope, nothing changed that I can see. I wonder if he's actually thinking about this or if he's setting up a bad joke. Nope, I'm drawing a blank here. Quiet Mo is a good Mo in my book. I guess there really aren't any other things that have changed, huh? Well, there's this one teeny tiny thing that doesn't that does seem different. Tell us. Well, tell me. Stop fucking around, clown. Well, on the morning of the crime over on the bulletin board, this piece of paper was posted front and center. Piece of paper. It's torn, so I don't know what it said, but I could see its title. Yikes. To the murderer. Oh shit. M -m 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 murderer. G -g 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 ghost. Yep, that's what it says, but the rest of it has been ripped off. And I don't know who posted it. Hmm. When did you find this? The morning before the murder. Before the murder? Yeah, the ringmaster was killed the night after this paper was discovered. Who in the world posted this thing? That's some crazy shit. Premeditated murder. Okay. Nick, I think we better follow up on this important lead. So, there has to be some sort of blackmail going on here. Especially if it's premeditated. Maybe I can, uh... Let's, uh... Let's go, um... Well, first, let's head back to the ringmaster's room. Okay, no one's there. Can I check out the acrobats area? Maybe I can show the paper to Ben over here. Nope. He don't know nothing about no murder note. Okay. Moe's room. I can't head to the acrobats room? Huh. Guess it's back to the detention center, then. Hey, Max, what do you know about this note? Oh, well, we also have this bus. Well, first of all, tell me about your bus. What about this? Fabulous. You'd like me to sign it for you? It's a picture of your bus. How do you not know about it, you jackass? Do you know anything about this note? The morning of the murder of uh, murderer. The morning of the murder was posted on the wall in the cafeteria. I don't know all about that. Wait, oh, I don't know. I do know all about the note. When I read it, my heart certainly skipped a beat. Your heart skipped a beat. While I was enjoying my morning tea, the ringmaster and company entered the room. And company. I guess it wasn't really a company, it was just the ringmaster and my sweetie pie. When the ringmaster read the note, he turned an incredible incredible bright red. All of a sudden, he tore it off the wall and shoved it into his pocket. There's definitely blackmail going on. There's definitely black... Wait, hold up. Wait a minute. I'm starting to piece some things together. In my mind. Now, there's a possibility... Let, let's split this theory off from my other theory. There's a possibility... That maybe Regina killed her own father. Because earlier, she said, um, earlier in the case, she said she used to have a different tiger or animal or something. And she said it was dead now. Because I forgot what the reason was. I think she said she didn't get along with it or something like that. Or it didn't get along with people. Um, so maybe the ringmaster, off the animal, Regina sees him as a murderer. And she's blackmailing him or something like that. I don't know. Maybe. But there's definitely something going on. Something. Some sort of blackmail's going on. There's no way it's not. I'm blackmail is confirmed. I'm gonna I'm gonna hard confirm that it's blackmail. <laughs> Out of curiosity, what in the world was written on that thing? Let's see. Uh-huh. Oh, I don't wanna steal the fun from my sweeties. Go and find out on your own. I'm sure you can Hey Jackass. Hey, Max, you're locked up. You're going in for a fucking murder rap. I think you should share the information with me. You might also want to ask my sweetie pie princess. God damn it. Okay. 
Well, shit. Let me see. I didn't try showing him the bust. Would you mind looking at this? Nope, Ben is just... Ben is just useless. Okay, well, to the big top. She's not in the big top. Ringmaster's room. She's not in the ringmaster's room. Where the hell is she? Is she in the cafeteria? Nope, that's you. Okay. I guess I'll head back to Moe's room. Maybe something might have changed there. Nope. Where the fuck is Regina? Where the hell did she go? Okay, well, maybe... You know what? Let's try... I'm gonna try talking to Mo again. Because maybe I have to... Why did I click that? Maybe I have to show Mo something as well. We have our new two pieces of evidence, which is this. And the... Can't stand Max and its attitude sometimes. I know. But lately, huh? It's just, lately I started to understand uh, what he's always going on about. What is this? Well, mm, I'm not sure if I can explain it all that well just yet. Just when you think it's impossible, Mo flashes a glimpse of maturity. Okay. I think that's all I have really to show to him. Did I... Did I try and show him the monkey before? I think I did. Okay, yeah. So he reacted to the bust. That's cool, but nothing new. Fucking, uh, whatchamacallit. You sure nobody's in the ringmaster room? Really? Let me check his pocket. Because Max said he put something in his pocket. Hey, you see that? There's a scrap of paper shoved into the pocket of the tailcoat. You know, I got a feeling I know what this is. I bet this is the other half of the note that Mo gave us. Then let's hurry up and check out, uh, check this thing out. Sure, why not? I knew it. It fits perfectly with the other piece. What does it say? To the murderer. I have conclusive evidence of what took place. So it is blackmail. Meet me at... Yup, there we go. Yeah! Why am I so excited about murder? Tonight at 10 p.m. Then when the mur that's when the murder took place. Now we need to find out who called out the ringmaster. It's Regina. It has to be Regina. There's no way it's not Regina. Okay, so what is it is it is the evidence now full? Is it a full note? Okay, shit. Maybe I have to show it to Max? <laughs> Yay, murder. What? Moe's gone. Oh, he was killed too. There's a message on the bulletin board. I'm hungry, so I'm off to get some hamburgers. Or as Maya would say, Hamburg. <laughs> Love Mo. Mmm, hamburgers. Just thinking about it makes me hungry. All of a sudden, I need a burger bad. All of a sudden, I need a new partner. Bad. Oh, come on, Phoenix. You love Maya. There's no way you don't. I love Maya. Why would I? <laughs> I went to go check the note, and I was like, we just read it. Why would I check it? What the hell? Regina's just gone, man. She's just gone. She's out of here. I don't know where the hell she's at. Ben is useless. Uh... Ah, oh, Gumshoe's back. Hey, buddy. How's it going? I'm not your buddy, pal. I'm not your pal, buddy. Hey, Detective Gumshoe. I'm sure you did a good job as usual. Well, I am done with the investigation of the acrobat. Finally. But when Miss Von Karma... Oh. Oh, no, he's getting a call. Nick? What is that? That beeping sound. It's a bomb. Mm hmm. It's Miss Von Karma. Huh? Every time I hear that sound, she's usually not very far behind. Some sort of pager or something? If you don't mind, pal, I'm gonna go ahead and get the hell out of here. 
See ya. I didn't know that Gumshoe could run that fast. So much for being a flatfoot. Never seen a grown man so afraid of a girl still in her teens. I'm telling you, Phoenix, she's like 23. That's a grown ass woman. <laughs> what the hell they feed her in Germany? I need some of that. <laughs> well, let's go inside. It's freezing out here. What? Oh! <laughs> as biting as lashes of a whip. What? Maya! <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. Last time I saw her, she's like, she's like, Phoenix, don't let me catch you outside of court. The time has come. Time to get these hands. She really did appear. It was a real battle today in court, wasn't it, Mr. Phoenix, right? Listen, Va Karma, I respect you, I'm scared of you, and I love you. So please don't hurt me. <laughs> do you have to jump out and scare us like that? What can I do you for? Tomorrow will be the day. The day my dream finally comes true. You mean the story of my defeat at your hands making the national news? <laughs> national news? You possess such a small sense of scale. The global news, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Your miserable plight will be known internationally. I think she might be overestimating the importance of a, uh, of a win by just a smidge. I wish I had- you know what I wish? I wish I never gave the fucking engagement ring to the goddamn puppet, because I would just whip it out right now. I'd be like, so, what do you think about this? <laughs> and then she'll kill me. She'll strangle me. What do you think about this? What about this? Oh shit, she hit me again. Maybe you should hold off on the wild goose chases. Okay, well, let's not do that. You know, let's not show my enemy evidence. Let's do that. Miss Von Karma, it appears you have got your hands onto something big, huh? Huh, <laughs> I'm amazed you picked up on that much. Anyone could. You couldn't hide that look of victory with ten papers, ten paper bags over your head. Why would you want to hide that look? It's such a beautiful look. I got conclusive evidence and a conclusive witness. Need any more hints? A conclusive witness? You must mean the acrobat, right? I'm putting in the summons for him to call as, as, a, as a witness as we speak. It's the final nail in your coffin, Mr. Phoenix, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already... I get it already. You want to beat me and destroy me. And beat me some more. I can't worry about her. I gotta try and find out more information for myself. Or does Maya just look young? <laughs> I mean, Maya's supposed to look young. She's 18. <laughs> She's not that old. Like, like, you know, she can still hit her growth spurt. She has like fucking three to four more years. But Von Karma is like, damn, that's a woman. <laughs> that's crazy. Why do you keep giving Nick the evil eye? Cause she's sexy when she's evil. It doesn't matter if you prove the defendant guilty tomorrow. Nothing will be able to bring back your dad. You shouldn't you shouldn't say that outside of court, Maya. We're, we're in uncharted territory, you better stop. My dad? You must mean the esteemed Manfred Varkama. Of course your dad. I know you miss him. Enough. I don't I don't think she would miss him that much. She did live in Germany away from him most of the time, I assume. Enough out of you. One more word and you'll get a mouthful of whip. Now, when did I ever bring up my papa's name in this, or any other conversation? Nope. I mean, I said this in one of the previous streams. I'm pretty sure she doesn't give a shit about her dad. She just wants the... She just wants to fulfill the namesake of Von Karma lineage. Then what is the revenge thing you're talking about? You wouldn't understand, Mr. Phoenix, right? I have to see him again, one more time. Huh? You talking about talking about Edgeworth? Him. You love Edgeworth, don't you? You got the hots for Edgeworth. I'm sure you know who I refer. Miles Edgeworth. What? Edgeworth? Mr. Edgeworth? M Miles Edgeworth. What about him? Miles Edgeworth. Why would you ever bring him up? You haven't forgotten, have you? Do you know who it was that trained my gifted pros trained the gifted prosecutor Miles Edgeworth? Okay, their siblings. 
What? What do you mean they're siblings? He's not. Von Karma's not Miles' dad. What are you talking about? Manfred Von Karma. Exactly, right? Uh, it was my papa. That means that Edgeworth was. Right, again. Miles was like a little brother to me. Okay. He adopted him, though. Oh, yeah, I forgot. He adopted him after he murdered his dad. But it doesn't matter. I mean, listen, this is a Japanese game. <laughs> Also, I mean, it's not like they were raised together. She spent most of her time in Germany. She, like, left at the age of 13, right? So that's, like, a long fucking time. She definitely has the hot fire, Edgeworth. They're gonna have a baby. I already see it. Oh, little brother. But Edgeworth and Nick are the same age. Edgeworth. Look at that sexy man. The man who imprisoned, uh, the man who inspired me to become an attorney. <laughs> what do you mean? Now? Miles also lived in Germany, I think. Really? He moved to Germany to. Fuck out of here with that. You serious? I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, well, if they grew up together, like, if they grew up together, like, in the same household and shit, then yeah, okay. I would assume that they were just, like, apart for most of the time. I found him, uh, I found a ah, uh, fuck. I fought against him in a few cases. <laughs> You're in lock with Ace Attorney Lore? Okay. I mean, but remember, remember our little talk about, uh, Disney and their fucking, <laughs> in the movie Clueless, where the ending is just, where they're just like, it's okay, man, incest is cool. <laughs> Date your stepbrother, why not? <laughs> but a little after that, case was over. He vanished when the world needed him most. It's your fault he's gone. Huh? It's the truth, isn't it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? You're not lying. Nick, what does she mean? I'll tell you when you're older, Maya. Hey, Maya, did I ever tell you that I replaced you for like a month? <laughs> Edgeworth, Edgeworth was never quite the same after the case. And then with the case after that one. He never set foot in the court again. And then one day, he just vanished. A hundred years later, me and my brother found a new prosecutor. A prosecutor named Von Karma. <laughs> All he left was a simple note at the prosecution's office. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chose death. That was one year ago. It was a few months after you left to go back home. Mr. Edgeworth, he's dead? I don't believe it. He's still alive, I'm sure of it. Somewhere in this world, he's still alive. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death? Of course he did. You ruined his reputation as a prosecutor. You effectively killed the prosecutor in him. Just like, uh, just like your victory muddled the honor named Von Connor. Honored? Get the fuck out of here! He killed, he killed the dudes! <laughs> he killed some fucking child's father and said, Now you're my son. <laughs> he fucking, he straight up moved Fawcett, that man. Fucking Scar said, Oh shit, look, you killed your dad. <laughs> straight up, fucking Mufasa and Frieza. Oh no, bro, a stray energy beam killed your father. Like, what? How dare you? And then, I'm gonna teach him his rifle place. What? His rifle place with my own two hands? What do you mean? You gonna kill him? Manfred is so evil, it's almost funny. It's hilarious. <laughs> How can you not laugh at that fucking Transylvanian-looking motherfucker? <laughs> Maya, I already told you this once. Don't make me do it again. Don't bring up his name in front of me again, okay? Nick. Miss Von Karma. What? I don't know if you're I don't know if you're God's gift to prosecutors or not, but I have enough about you. <laughs> Him too. I'll get you and your mangy prosecutor. What in what in the world happened? Hmm. This dog is all bark and no bite. He's already been defeated. Regardless, I have nothing to inform you to of today. 
Tomorrow will be the greatest courtroom battle in this country has ever seen. Nick? Let's go. We need to talk with the performer on the third floor. I'm sorry I brought it up, Nick. I'm sorry I yelled at you, Maya. I feel bad. <laughs> I feel bad making Maya sad. Alright, let's see this acrobat. Oh my god. That's a handsome dude. He's in a wheelchair, too. Look at the birds. <laughs> must be Phoenix Wright. Yes. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ken Dingling. What? And <laughs> he said, give me a ding-a-ling <laughs> if you just need me. But here at the circus, everyone calls me Acro. Mr. Acro? Hmm? How do you know my name? The detective told me. He said you'd definitely show up here. Acro, you're a member of this circus as well. That's right. I mainly performed on the type ropes uh, or the flying trapeze. But nowadays, all I perform is my wheelchair. What do you do, break your leg? <laughs> well, let's do the obvious thing. Just instantly look at him and, be said, and just be like, Oh my god, dude, you're handicapped. Out here looking like fucking... <laughs> Looking like Jean Paul Nareff. Part 5. Talking about I'm in a wheelchair now. King Crimson fucked me up. Um, I'm sorry to ask, but why are you in a, wheel a wheelchair? The nerves in my legs were badly damaged. Damn. And you can't walk now? I can't even stand now. And since I live on the third floor, I can't even leave this building myself. That's awful. Why don't they just put you on the first floor? Why don't you... Th what? <laughs> can't they just move your room? The incident happened during the acrobatic session, right? Hmm. Listen to me, man. I'm one for equal rights. Right? So I don't care if you're handicapped. I'm gonna break those fucking locks. And I'm gonna get you to spill your fucking guts on the floor. Doesn't seem like it was an accident. Someone must have came and busted his legs. They said, oh, you think you're trying to fly? Fucking started beating him with a pipe. What's on your mind, Mr. Wright? Well, exactly when were you injured? It's been almost six months since I was hurt. I injured my legs during practice, lion ass. Six months ago, when the world went on at this circus. Someone beat him. Oh, you're gonna say you're gonna break his leg? <laughs> no, that's fucked up! <laughs> break his legs? He wouldn't even be able to feel it. His nerves are damaged. Acro, why did you join the circus? When I was a kid, my parents failed miserably at business. Then one night, they decided to run away from it all, without me. Oh, shit. The only person who was willing to take me, uh, take my parents' place was Ringmaster. The Ringmaster took such incredible care of me, he was truly a lifesaver. It seems like the Ringmaster was truly a saint. He was. That's why I decided, uh, that's why I decided to do something very important. I decided that I would devote my entire life to finding a way to repay him. And now, look how someone repaid him for all good in his life. Such a shame. Sometimes I think that he was almost too kind. Perhaps he was too kind to his performers. Perhaps he was too kind to his daughter. His daughter definitely killed him. There's no way she didn't kill him. I wonder if he spoiled Regina. Of course he spoiled her. Regina's so cute. She's truly a princess. Truly a princess? Are you sure that's a good thing? So I know, man. Princesses are crazy. Hmm. Do I detect a hint of grudge against Regina? She broke his legs. Regina broke his legs. The tiger fucked her up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. It's all coming back. It's all coming back to me. And by all coming back, I mean... Uh, fucking... I got some clues. Okay, so... My first theory was... Blackmail... Uh... You know, someone took... Took Max's bus, dressed it up, made him fly, whatever. Second one was blackmail. A uh, fucking ringmaster must have killed an animal that Regina liked, and she got revenge. Maybe the reason he killed the animal is because it fucked up this dude's legs. And then Regina's like, oh shit, that's my animal, dog. And he's all like, well, now it's dead, and we're gonna eat it. Because that's what we do here. Just like the Native Americans, we don't waste the animal. You gotta use every part right and then fucking she's like all right whatever murderer i'll find evidence i'll condemn you i'll blackmail you 
and then she blackmailed them, and then she offed them. I stopped by yesterday and I noticed that you weren't in your room. I was at the hospital all day yesterday. Huh? You went there for rehabilitation? What about the murder? Of course I knew about it. I spoke with the police before they allowed me to go to the hospital. Because of course the guy in the wheelchair did it. <laughs> I mean, he can. If he wanted to. Gotta... Look at those, look at those fucking arms, man. I fucking, I knew a dude who like, is a, who's an amputee. Well, I knew a dude. I know a guy who's an amputee, and he doesn't use a wheelchair. He just gets around on his arms all the time, and he's like a wrestler. Well, he, he was a wrestler. He doesn't do it anymore. But, I mean like, don't, just because my dude is unable from the waist down, don't fucking rule him out. My man, that man can beat the shit out of me. Before I got the call from the prosecutor, I was convinced that it was all a dream. Huh? I just couldn't believe it. When I saw what I saw... What you saw? Jeez, that sounds really ominous. What did you see? What'd you see, Acro? That night... I was in bed sleeping when I heard a huge sound coming from below my window. I see. The scene of the crime was right below your window. That's when I looked out the window. What'd you see? He was flying straight up into the air. I'm telling you, someone has Max's bus, tied him, uh, dressed it up, put a rope around it, and started lifting him off the roof. It's the only way. He... It would also explain the blunt force trauma and no weapon, no murder weapon at the scene of the crime, because the bus would be the murder weapon. What? That's what I thought he said. You're absolutely positive that was Max you saw flying? I'm... Uh, I'm absolutely sure. There's no doubt in my mind. Nick. Okay. Well... Time to... Did I get any more evidence, actually? Besides this stuff? Okay, hold up. Time to save. Because now... I'm gonna break those locks. Alright, let's see what you got. I'm gonna crush his spirits. About the wheelchair. I have to ask you, how were you injured? I'm sorry, I thought we talked about this. It was an accident that happened during practice. Accident during practice. Yes, unfortunately acrobats are prone to all sorts of injuries. He's lying. Acro, are you really telling him a practice accident caused Hmm. Okay, I see, I see. You win this round, Acro. I'll come back. Pretty sure someone will give me something. But what about, uh... What about this photo? Maximilian Galactica, right? You have to forgive me, but I, tr uh, I try not to talk about him. Won't even look at it. Okay. Something really weighing on him. What about the bronze statue? Nope. You gotta tell me something, man. What about this pepper? What do you think of this? I'm sorry, but in my, uh, my present physical condition, I don't really know much about what's going on outside of this room. It's Pepper, man. That's what it is. Don't worry about it. No need to apologize. Wooden box? You know anything about this? Nope. Shit. Alright, what else we have? We have people. Seems like he doesn't like Regina. Regina? She's cool, isn't she? And can you believe such a cute girl is an animal tamer? Oh, he don't. Mm, he's scared off the animals. It seems animals are not the only thing she tames. Ooh. Huh? Max, the ringmaster, Ben. She's got them all under her thumb. What do you mean by that? Hmm. Maybe I went a bit overboard? It's just Regina's innocence. She was incredibly sheltered as a child. I say it seems that way. That's why she can't. That's why she can be so cruel. She totally broke his legs. She totally... She fucking... Her animal... She fucking took his legs. Regina is just like the animal she claims to tame. She's innocent, though she can be cruel. I wonder what happened between Arco and Regina. Arco. Acro. Okay. 
Tell me about Max. You seem to not like him. You want to know about Max? Well, his colleagues in the circus all seem to hate him. What about you? I've got my issues with him as well. But he just also happens to have a diamond shining in his soul. So he's a jackass with a heart of gold. Okay. I mean, I kind of guessed that. I guess you should say it's his pride as a performer. We didn't have that pride in ourselves before Max arrived. Honestly, I think he brought something wonderful to the circus when he came. Acro. This guy is really different from the other members of the circus. What about Ben? I was hoping you can shed some light on Ben. Well, he's always been here. As long as I, as long as as uh, as long as he's here, he really uh, I can't read. Damn it. <laughs> and as long as he's here, he really can only continue to be a ventriloquist. Whether that's a good thing for him or not, I'm afraid I can't really say. All right. What do you think about this lady, Mr. Wright? I just realized who you remind me of. You're just like this prosecutor. Oh God. What? You and the prosecutor had the same glint in your eyes. You're joking, right? You think I'm you think I'm like that crazy <laughs> that whip carrying demon? Hey man, demons are cool. Whoa, no need to get so hostile about it. We don't need to get hostile about it. Listen, I can tell that that you have some problems with Regina because she probably tucked your legs. Fucking Francesca whipped the shit out of me in the middle in the middle of court and nobody stopped her. <laughs> so of course I gotta be hostile. You two may view things from different perspectives for now, but you both see the world through the same color tinted glass. I know because when I look at the people, their eyes are their eyes are the only thing I can believe in. Hmm. Nick and Miss Von Karma, huh? Shut up, Maya. How dare you? What about Mo? The ringmaster really believed in Mo, 100%. What will happen to the circus now that the ringmaster's gone? The beginning of the of the Lawrence Cur Lawrence Curls era, I suppose. I wonder if it's really all right to let Mo run the show. Mr. Wright, you don't know much about Mo, I suspect. You can see right through me. Aw, oh, Nick. You can't let him get to you like that. You're an attorney. All right. What about the ringmaster? The ringmaster. He was even more than a father to me. When he took me in, the circus was in a bad shape. It was obvious that he had no real way of supporting us. Who does, uh, who does he mean by this? Is that why you started with acrobatics? Back then, I was only nine years old. I begged the ringmaster to let me try and he finally gave in. Having a kid in the circus was probably the last thing in the world he wanted to do. I just wanted to be helpful so I could help the ringmaster. That's such a nice story. Hmm. Okay, well, we haven't really gotten any information from him per se, just kind of his kind of his ideas. Right? You know anything about this? Nope. Damn. What about the oh yeah, what about the monkey? Hey, money's a great friend of me. That pile of treasure over there is his collection, huh? It is indeed. Money will bring back anything. Aw, that's so cute. Yep, I'm not great with the ladies, but it seemed to be pretty popular with the animals. Okay. Tell me about, um... Shit. No. I wanted to see if I can get him to talk about the bus, but I don't think he will. Okay, well, maybe we can run into Regina now. Here's hoping. And maybe get some information out of her. Is Mo back in his room? Nope. Head to the entrance. You. What can you tell me about, uh, Acro? Would you mind taking a look at this? Yeah, okay, you're useless. You're just... You're just useless. <laughs> I love that- I love that dummy, but... But Ben, you're useless. December 29th, very big circus, big top. I'm gonna get attacked by another fucking animal. I got a bad feeling about this. Yep. Nick! Wonderful, today's special must be Filato Phoenix. Stay, stay, heal. Oh, Maya, Nick, it's you guys. 
I'm sorry. I guess I made a mistake. I hate you, Regina. A mistake? Yeah, a little one. I was thinking of teaching whatever primate was out there a lesson, but I was expecting more of a monkey than a human. A monkey? What, you, you hating a... Uh, you got a problem with money? Filetto Phoenix. <laughs> Give me my filet fish. Give me my fish. Remember that commercial? <laughs> just a... Uh, uh, just... Wow, I can't even read. Just go back and clear something up. What do you want to teach money a lesson? Because he's a meanie. He's got something that means a lot to me. Are you talking about the ring? Something that means a lot to you. Must be something shiny, right? Hmm, actually, it's a strange co it's a stage costume. Got lots of spangles. It's really beautiful. You should see it. We should? When the costume gets hit by the spotlight, it dazzles. Hey, Mr. Attorney. Huh? If you saw the monkey, would you get my costume back for me, wouldn't you? It's really important to me. Well, I'll get it for you, but of course, gladly. Really, Phoenix? I can't say no? Okay. But of course, my lady. Leave it to us. Guess there's no turning down that request. Yeah, you're really gonna do it. Okay. It's a pity about what happened to the ringmaster. Dad? Everyone loved him, didn't they? He must have been quite a man. He was. I love my dad so much. I hate to say it, but she doesn't seem all broken up about her father. She killed him. She's the murderer. There was a fe uh, that's when I feel so lonely. Now that I won't be able to see him for a while. What? For a while. For a while? Yeah. Are you, are you like terminally ill or something? What, what's happening? When Leon died, I talked with my dad and he told me that when someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. I'm telling you, she totally killed her, killed her father because of that fucking animal. A star? Her father just becomes Mufasa. Fucking Simba. Everything the light touches. That means that my dad is looking down on me from the sky. That's, that's why I love the night so much. I can see everyone who's gone. When someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. That's kind of sweet. But I bet you there's no way that Maya believes in that. What do you mean there's no way I believe in that? How the fuck? What? You read in my mind? Do you think that one day I'll be a star too? She looks. <laughs> she took Lion King to heart. Dead ass. You know what I took to heart about Lion King? Actually, the beginning of Lion King too. That song, He Lives In You? Oh my god. <laughs> The fields. I want that to play at my funeral. You really think so? Yeah, you will, I think. I got a feeling that everybody's gonna do great up in there in the sky. I wonderful if I wonder why wonderful. I wonder if every if everything's all right with Regina. Maybe she's in denial. She's gonna break at some point. Tell me about your best friend in the world. Ah, it's Acro. Is he in his room today? Yes, he is. We just came back from the meeting with him. Good, I can go and break his legs now. What? <laughs> I hope his legs get better soon. Oh shit. Acro's so incredible, especially on the trapeze. The trapeze is that enormous swing, uh, swing hanging from the top of the tent, right? Yep, that's it. I really, I really want to see him up there again. Acro the acrobat. That's strange. Acro doesn't seem to have very uh, many nice things to say about Regina. Regina seems to like Acro just fine. Hmm. Hella sus. I suspect a traitor. Tell me about this. You definitely saw this. You were in the room when it happened. Regina, have you ever seen this before? Huh? I know what that is. Of course you do, because you're the one who wrote it. Well, it was in my pocket for a while. It was in your pocket? This piece of paper? It was in your pocket. Hmm, I guess I noticed it. I noticed it was in there around breakfast time. Breakfast time? Yeah, I always take Acro his breakfast in the morning. That's when I also take out the trash in his room. Then I go to the cafeteria and eat my own breakfast. That's when you realize the piece of paper was in your pocket? Yep, but since I'm not a murderer, I just figured it belonged in someone else's pocket. And then what? 
I wonder if the person would who lose it. Uh, I wonder if the person who lost it was in trouble, so... You didn't put it on the bulletin board, did you? I did! <laughs> I stuck it up there. How'd you know? Hmm. So it was Regina who put it up there. When did this happen? Hmm, the morning of the murder, I think? That explains a lot. I wonder who wrote this. Okay. So she's admitting that she had it, but, oh. Huh. That's interesting. What about the bust? There's no denying it, Max is cool. I want to try flying someday with Max. She's already flown off to her own little world. Nick, I want to try flying too. With who? Okay, I'll think about it. A uh, reward ceremony. There's no dying it. Max is cool. Okay. Huh. What about other profiles? We talked about Mo. I already talked to her about Mo, so there's nothing new to learn about that, I assume. Um. Let's think about this. Crime scene, bottle. So what about the monkey? He just loves causing nothing but trouble. That's a cute little monkey. I think he's using a tiger to scare him is a bit much. Uh, why is that? Do you really have to ask that? It's dangerous to use a tiger for that kind of thing. It's not dangerous at all. Re uh, Regin uh, Regin's just a little kitten. Uh-huh, okay. Okay, Tiger King. <laughs> okay, Tiger King. It's alright. Alright, let's go look for that fucking monkey. I assume it might be in the ringmaster's room? Nope. Big top. Uh, cafeteria. Tiger queen. <laughs> exactly. Something smells fantastic. So we, so we know it can't be Mo. Wait, I know what it is. It's burgers. Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to the Bistro de Cur uh, Bistro de Cirque, aka the cafeteria. Hmm, it smells so good in here. And those burgers look great. She's drooling like she's some sort of crazed burger monster. My burgers are the best. Juicy meat, toasted buns, special sauce. They're absolutely irresistible to someone with a hankering for burgers. One bite will send you into a burger. It tastes so good, make you want to smack your mama. Hey, mama! <laughs> I love that. Friday, what is it? Which one is that? That's Friday the next, right? No, that's Friday after next. My bad. <laughs> that's the Christmas one. I bet I can. T I bet I can tell by the smell. Well, I'm getting hungry too. This burger's gonna have some kind of special power. Power of deliciousness. Now that the ringmaster is gone, what are you gonna do? What you gonna do? That's all I thought about the past two days. Everyone's loved Russell. Haven't heard of Acro stories, have you? Like how he was adopted when he was younger. He, claimed, uh, he calmed down a bit now, but he was livid when he heard about the murder. He was so livid that he stood up, smacked the shit out of me, and he sat back down. <laughs> Acro was so upset that he said he couldn't go on. Oh shit, don't do that. He was that upset. Yes, he was. Anyways, I gave it some thought. Maybe I should give up on trying to be half-baked clown. I've been thinking of trying on the ringmaster's shoes. What? Really? Max would still be an issue, though. Max. Maybe he may be a bit mean and hard and hard to work with, but it's hard to argue his importance. He's probably the reason the circus is still around. A lot of what he says is right. No. All that's left is to see if everyone can get over the tragedy. You know, the tragedy. You know, what the hell are you talking about? Get over it. Get over it? What tragedy? Huh? Don't worry about it, it's nothing, nothing at all. If I say it out loud, then Regina will kill me next. You must mean the tragic death of the Ringmaster, right? I assume not. Yeah, yeah, that's it, you're right, girly. Dang. Correctamundo. Doesn't, does he mean ding? No. I mean, no disrespect here, but are you lying to us? Huh? No, not at all. What makes you think that? Just the way you say if everyone can get over the tragedy seemed a bit strange. It sounded like you were talking about something from a long time ago. Uh, Mo, I'm right, aren't I?
All right, you fucking clown. You wanna make a fool out of me? How dare you? So now we're getting closer to the truth. It was about six months ago. It was just a little accident. Give me a break. Us old men have accidents. I wear big pants for, for a reason. Six months ago. Regina totally broke that man's legs. She totally broke that dude's legs. I don't know why I'm saving. I should save though. There's really no reason for me to save since I can't... I can't die while doing the thing. I have yet to die. They just tell me no. <laughs> Takes my health though, which sucks. Get over it. Mo, please tell us what happened six months ago. What in the world went on in this circus? Okay, okay, there's no need to look so scary when you ask me. Hey, look over there. Some juicy burgers. Let's eat instead. Unfortunately, I'm more of a grilled chicken sandwich man myself. Aww. Actually, I've kind of got an idea of what happened back then. Hmm? Mo, you said something about an accident. This would happen to be the cause of that accident, wouldn't it? Let's see. What about this? Looks tasty. Really? My phone's about to die. He's like, come on, man. What? You know, burgers... Really, not that accident? Huh. Okay, hold up. What the hell accident he's talking about? Bronze statue, max ceremony... Huh. I don't think it would be this. I highly doubt it. He doesn't even know about the note. Okay. So I don't have anything here. That's fine. That's fine. Clown, you have it this time. But I think... I should go and talk to Max. Maybe Max can... put some light on this. December 29th, Detention Center. They must have taken Max in for questioning again. Really isn't anything that we need to ask him right now. What the hell you mean? Apparently an accident happened six months ago. That seems pretty important to ask him. Huh. Okay. Well... Maybe, um... Maybe we can find the monkey hanging around Moe's room. Hmm, Mo's not here. What's that? I hear something. Stop it! Nick, you're scaring me! Oh. Nick, it's the monkey. That monkey's holding something. Ooh, it's really sparkly. That's it. That's the thing that means a lot to Regina, remember? Alright, time to take on the monkey, attorney style. <laughs> There's battle music playing. Scratch, scratch. I gotcha. Ooh, ooh. Wow, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Yikes. What? Am I being attacked by the monkey? I tried to have a monkey to monkey talk with them. I really did. Nick, you. I swiped it while money was distracted. Wow. You really are on the ball today, Nick. You're damn right. Let me see. Let me see. Huh? You can see it fine from where you are. You know what I mean. I really want to try on Regina's costume. Okay. I'm not against this idea, Maya. But I will advise against it. Maybe then I'll take you into the circus and I can get some peace and quiet. Oh, shit. <laughs> What's the matter now? It doesn't fit me at all. Oh, well. Guess it's time for you to lay off the burgers. Not to mention, it doesn't look like something any girl I know would actually wear. Yeah, there's no... Huh. Is this for, like, a animal? Maybe it's for her tiger. Guess I can go hand it to her then. Hey Regina, I got your weird costume. Probably gonna put it on your animal, aren't you? Here you go, Regina. Yay! Thank you! You really got it back for me. Don't mention it. I love you, Mr. Attorney. Listen, Regina, that's okay. But you're, uh, you're 16? 
I'm like 23? Let's move on! No wonder guys melt... <laughs> no wonder guys... Eh, no wonder why... Fuck, I can't read. No wonder guys melt too much in front of this girl. Hey, Regina. That costume's yours, right? I tried it on, but it didn't fit me. Huh? This costume? This isn't mine, it was Leon's. Leon's? You know, the lion she told us about. The one that her father probably killed. The one that she killed her father over. Oh, the one that someone killed. Hmm. Totally. Okay, well, tell me about your murderous father. Leon was... Oh, look at that sexy-ass fucking lion. God damn. I've been, I've been watching and reading too much Beastars. That's what's going on right now. Leon was... <laughs> Leon, he was killed, wasn't he? That's right, my dad killed him. Mmm! Mmm! Revenge! I see! Blackmail! Why? Well, Leon did something really bad during practice. Mmm! Broke his legs, I see! I got him! During practice? Leon was sitting down and then he opened his mouth, you know? Wow. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Usually when he did that, I would put my head into his mouth. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wait, what? <laughs> you put your head into the lion's mouth? I sure did. The people in the crowd always loved seeing me do that. They always started screaming. You sure that- Dude, that's scary as fuck. Man, when people do some crazy shit like that, it's like, Nope, nope. <laughs> About to watch a murder. <laughs> watch a child die tonight. You sure they were screaming because they loved seeing you do that? Anyways. What was the bad thing? Oh, yeah. Leon bit someone during the practice. R Rashina, everything was all right though, right? No, it wasn't all right. That was the problem. My dad was incredibly angry. And that's when he fucking pulled out a Tiger King and he capped the shit out that lion. Yeah, that's when he became a star in the sky. Poor thing. My man really got mufasa <laughs> Like, what? Okay. Huh. So now the question is, who do I go to? Do I go to Mo or Acro? I think I'm gonna go to Mo. I think that'll be an easier target. Alright, where is he? He's, uh... Why did I leave the fucking big top? He's in the cafeteria. I forgot. To the cafeteria. Alright, Mo, you lying piece of shit. Time for you to tell me everything I want to know. Right. Let's see. This happened to be cause of it. I heard a little bit about this from Regina. Leon made a mistake during a practice, right? How did you? I told them so many times. You shouldn't be doing such dangerous acts. Like putting her head inside of Leon's mouth, right? Yeah, but Regina believed in Leon. She believed so strongly that the ringmaster went along. He never could say no to her. Out of curiosity, who was bitten? Come on, Mo. Don't cl don't clam up on me now. Who did Leon bite? Well, um, I promised I wouldn't say anything, or Regina would kill me next. <laughs> you promised. He's involved in this too. He's involved. Mo must be talking about... Mo, person that you promised you wouldn't say anything. Huh? I mean... It must have been Acro, right? How did you know? I mean, he's the only one who got fucked up. Don't worry about that, Mo. Getting to the bottom of this accident may help solve what happened to Ringmaster. No, no way. I need to know the truth of what happened to Russell. Please tell me what you know. Mm, I'm sorry, Acro. Good job, clown. I can feel myself getting stronger. Tell me all your secrets. It's just like you said, you know, the accident. Did someone die? No. 
No, but it would have probably been better if he had. Oh shit, what? What? How could, you... How could that have been better? He's still alive. But when he got bit, he suffered massive brain damage. Wait, wh huh? The hell you... What? He'll never come from the coma that he's in. I thought they were talking about my man losing his legs. What the hell are you on about? Coma? All he does now is lie in bed at the hospital. And that... Is that why Acro went to the hospital? Is it his brother or something? Okay. I see. How's he related to Acro? He's his brother. Up, oh, got it. All right. Huh? Wait a minute. Wait. What? <laughs> wait, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Wait, hold up. Mm. Another theory came in my head. Let's say Regina's not the killer. Maybe Acro sees the Ringmaster as a murderer because he spoiled his daughter and then let his daughter do that dumb shit and then he killed the Ringmaster. There's two ways we can go with this. The person who got bit was Acro's brother. Brother? But the thing that gets me is that he talked about, whoever wrote the note talked about having evidence to prove that it was a murder. So there has to be more about that. There was an acrobat team of brothers, Acro and Bat. Cute nickname, huh? Yep. Anyways, they were an incredible team, cut together from their, uh, cut down from their prime. Oh shit. Who's Acro's younger brother? Seen, uh, seen, seen, Sean, Sean, Sheen, fuck. <laughs> Is that Sean? Is that supposed to be Sean? Because I know you can spell Sean in a fucked up way. When I'm gonna assume that's Sean. Sean Dingling. <laughs> Dingling. Acrobat. I'm just gonna call him Bat. How about that? Bat, but everyone always called him Bat. <laughs> he fell in love with Regina trying to win her- What? Okay? Everyone seems to fall in love with Regina. Six months ago, while he was practicing. All of a sudden, Bat blurted out, let me perform with Leon. Why did he do that? I don't know, but that was the cause of the accident. Literally hate it when Sean is spelled Sean. So it is supposed to be Sean. Spell it in the most jackass way possible. <laughs> I never thought, my man got five night at Freddy's. That's what happened. It was so strange. Leon had the weirdest look on his face. He was smiling. What the hell? He... you mean Leon? Yes, Leon. When he bit down, he was smiling. As if Regina gave a command. What the fuck is going on in this case? Some sick grin. Jesus. No way, that's impossible. A smiling lying, a flying murderer. What does this see? Why does it seem it's always Mo who catches all these incredible events? Nick, can Lion smile? Yeah! We never told the police about the incident. The circus would have been shut down if we had. The next day, the ringmaster took Leon out and shot him with a rifle. God damn it, what the hell is going on here? So that's what really happened. Well, you guys are so serious. What was I supposed to do? I had to tell you. But all this truthfulness has put me in the mood for a burger. Here, you two have some pepper. Shake a shake a shake a shake a. There he goes again, acting like his normal crazy self. Uh, I don't think I want to eat. Nice, what a wonderful sneeze. Huh? You think so? He sneezed with pepper and slipped on a banana peel. That's basic clowns, uh, clownsmanship. Girly, I know you gotta, you gotta understand that. Nick, I think I'd be a good clown. Other than Regina, I've never seen a cuter sneeze. <laughs> does Regina sneeze with Pepper too? She does. That would always tease her with Pepper. Is that why it was locked up? Jesus. From my point of view, those two always look so perfect together. They look perfect together, huh? Damn. Mo is one of my favorites. Yeah, I did. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't like Mo at the beginning, but dude, this man is crazy. Alright, but, um, 
I'll be right back. I have to head to the bathroom, so give me about give me about like three minutes.
Okay, we are back. That's why you don't eat before you record or anything like that. Or the nature calls you. Damn. So everything's just popping off in this case. Like the first two investigations, not much happened. But now we're on the third investigation. Everything's coming up. You got, you got not even a love triangle. You got a fucking, a love, a love fucking uh, quadrilateral, right? Four points of this love interest going on. Fucking blackmail, revenge, murder, premeditated murder. Fucking people getting crippled. What the hell? You got fucking. <laughs> Just get back. What'd you miss? You missed everything. <laughs> Everything happened. I don't even, I don't even know where to fucking begin. It's too much shit. It's so weird because going into this case, there was like nothing. There was nothing going on. And now we're at like the tail end of it and all this fucking detail and shit is happening. God damn. Look at this sexy ass lion. I want to be that lion. Well, I don't want to be him now. He's dead. But still, damn, man, Mo, I feel bad for you. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> damn, he just went from like my least favorite character in this trial to my favorite. What the fuck? Holy shit. Maybe that's why clowns have painted on smiles. You never know how tortured their souls are. Fucking damn. Don't look at me, Regina. You're evil. You're just, you're despicable. You're fucking, I can't stand looking at you. God damn it. Okay, so now let's head to, um... <laughs> so much shit. Had no idea what to think when you first played the case. Exactly. I don't know what to fucking think right now. Fucking... There's so many different branches of thinking I have right now. In terms of, like, what could have possibly happened. Oh, Mr. Wright. Back again, I see. Well... He did say, I'll be back. Wait, or was that someone else? I'll be back. We're back because Acro's hiding why his legs were injured. Broke his fucking leg. Somebody broke that man's legs. I'm not even sitting in my chair correctly, to be honest. <laughs> I rushed back. He was hurt in an accident six months ago. It would seem that he knows that we know. Well, well, it seems you got things you want to talk about, so far away. Hit me with your best shot. Fire away. Tell me your secrets. My man out here. My man look like fucking Naruto and goddamn Uruka Sensei did the fusion dance. <laughs> and then they unlocked the eighth gate of death. Lost use of his legs. Now he's melting in a wheelchair like Mike Guy. <laughs> I hate Naruto. <laughs> I hate Naruto. You know what? Naruto's good. Original Naruto ends at Sasuke art. Naruto Shippuden ends at pain, and that's how Naruto ends. That's it. <laughs> what do you mean there's an almighty god, god being of chakra? That doesn't exist. I have to ask you, how are you injured? I'm sorry. I thought we talked about this. It was an a- oh wait, I read this already. <laughs> Alright. Are you really telling me that practice incident was a case of your injury? Okay. Leonardo's head still in the coma. I can ask him about his brother, but I'm not sure if that will talk about his injury. Maybe, maybe the animals part of it. Let's say the animals part of it. Leon, six months ago, you were attacked by a lion. That's when you were injured. My man's getting serious. I know I'm on the right track. I just need to keep going. You're saying that I was attacked by a lion. Hey, well, either that or you are lying. Either one. That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright, but I'm acrobat. I'm no animal tamer. If a lion was coming at me, I'd be running for the exit. Okay, maybe attacked is not the best word. You defended your brother. <laughs> Let's say that. You battled the lion. You seem to enjoy telling jokes. Why would I decide to battle a lion? Because you had to fight it. You had to fight it to save someone. You had to save your brother. My man looks like Little Mac. That. It was a shame what happened to your brother six months ago. 
You try. Remember when I said, remember when I said, man's in a wheelchair, don't underestimate him. He can still beat the shit out of you. Look at this guy. He wrestled the fuck out of a lion. <laughs> you tried to save him, didn't you? And that's how you got that terrible injury. Mo, he must have told you. Yes, we learned about Bat from Mo. But he didn't men he didn't mention anything about you in, in regards to the accident. I suppose it was just a slip of the tongue at his part. That's how I figured it out. A slip of the tongue. Anyways, there was an incredible team cut down together in their prime. Cut down together. That was where he, that was where he slipped, and that's how I figured it out. You two ended up at the center of the same accident together, like always. I see. But an accident is an accident. It was anyone's. It wasn't anyone's fault. I still haven't broken Acro's last psychic lock. This must be must be one incredible deep-seated secret. It wasn't anyone's fault. Do you care to explain more? Acro, I know you're still holding something from me. Maybe someone you don't seem to like much. Well, of course. R Regina. You've always seemed calm and collected until you started talking about her. Saying things like she's cruel. Well done, Mr. Attorney. You fucking broken me down fucking emotionally. Now I'm a wreck. I think I'll just go kill myself. <laughs> you know, her tiger tried to attack me. Regina tried to attack you? Oh, not Regina. Regent? Regine? Regent? Twice. <laughs> he wasn't serious, I'm sure. You're not trying to insinuate that I believe she spurred a lay on to attack Bat, are you? She she did. She did. Hmm. Either she did or her dad did. Leon was never taught the command to attack people. Regina isn't capable of doing anything like that. Besides, Regina had no reason to want to hurt my little brother. But her dad did. Or maybe the ventriloquist. Someone who was jealous. Or someone who didn't want them to have a relationship. Regina and Bat were such good friends back then. But you still hate Regina. You got proof of it. What? What are you talking about? Oh, maybe I worked at it again. But if I can hand something over to Acro, maybe I'll... Here's proof that you had it out for Regina all along. What? <laughs> Is it this? I don't think it's this. It's either, it's either the note or the pepper, but let's go with the note. This? Where'd you get it? Regina posted it on the bulletin board in the cafeteria. Before that, it was in her pocket. Hmm, I guess I noticed it. Uh, I guess I noticed it was in there around breakfast time. I always take Acros his breakfast in the morning. You wrote this, and then you put it in her pocket. That's right. Isn't it? That's right. Well done, Mr. Wright. This trial's becoming a soap opera. Dude. I don't know, man. This is awesome. This is... I've watched soaps, right? Well, I don't mean I watch soap. I've watched my mother watch soaps, and I would sit there and be like, so you're telling me she has a... She has a fucking... A split personality and some bullshit. And that instead of just putting her in a sane asylum, people just let her walk free. And my mom's like, yeah. <laughs> so soap operas, they don't have no line of logic. They just have drama. This one, it's just, it's following a whole story. Got its own beats. It's crazy. My legs were injured by Leon six months ago. My younger brother, Bat, had a dare with Regina. A dare? An absurd dare. Dare I say? If I can put my head inside of Leon's mouth like you do, they'll get married. You have to go to the movies with me on a date. Oh, shit. That's insane. Didn't he know how dangerous that is? And we all thought he was being stupid, too. But that lion was very old to begin with. And age brought it with countless experience in doing that very trick. Unfortunately, at this particular time, I guess Leon wasn't ready or willing. And that's when, the dis that's when the accident happened. He just wanted to take her out to the movies. Poor Bat. When Leon chomped down, I jumped towards him. Then Leon attacked me, and 
that's how I ended up. What about Bat? He's still in a coma. I went to the hospital yesterday to visit him. I see. I was still waiting for him to open his eyes again. And that's the reason why I keep going. Damn, dude. That'd make me fucking bust down in tears. Bat and Regina. They were such a great they were such great friends. Oh yeah, I want you to take a look at this. What is it? This is the scarf my brother was wearing when Leon attacked him. Oh shit. Oh man. He, my man's out here like the Punisher. <laughs> he's just like He's all like, my family, family, family. Fucking what was the book he keeps saying? Fucking what was it? One pot, two pot, penny and dime? <laughs> Something like that. He's like, penny and dime. Fucking having PTSD and shit. Wow. Gross, it's covered in blood. <laughs> Ew, your brother got attacked. This scarf. It was a present from Regina to my brother on the day of the accident. Hmm. When he did it, he looked like he was smiling. He? Lay on, obviously. Oh. When he bit down on, on, on Bat's head, the expression on Leon's face looked like a grin. Nick, I know, most said the same thing. What do you think it all means? It means someone command him to do it. I'll be taking that scarf if you don't mind. Scarf? Why'd I say it like that? Miss Von Karma! I've already heard everything, so hand over to the scarf. Over my dead body. But the scarf is evidence in the trial. That's for me to decide. No, it's not. I think we should begin our preparations now, Acro. Preparations? I have served a summons to Acro to appear in courts tomorrow as a witness. Acro? We'll talk more at the prosecutor's office. Acro? A witness? Come, Acro. Let's go to the office. Yes, ma'am. Now what do we do, Nick? How are we going to handle it tomorrow? Don't worry about it. I'll figure something out. Looking at you full of confidence. You must have found something you can use. This is all beginning to come together now. Damn. 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 That's some good shit. That's really good. Oh my, that's so fucking... Like, I would, I'm not gonna lie. Beginning of this trial... I was just like, I was kind of bored out my mind. I'm like, nothing's happening. We got cool characters, but nothing's happening. Now everything's happening. Good morning, Max. Oh, yeah, good morning, sweeties. You don't seem like your usual sparkly self today. I'm always like this before I go in front of an audience. I woke up to it. Teehee. The fuck you doing here? I don't, I don't know if to call her evil or not. But whatever, man. You're the fucking... You're obviously the apex predator in all this shit. <laughs> Don't get nerves, Maxie. Here, have a glass of milk. Regina! How fabulous, my sweetie pie. My sweetie pie princess. You came to watch me perform today. Of course I did. Mo told me that I should come and watch this. Mo said that? So, what kind of performance will you put on today? Let me guess. You'll fly at the end? Huh? It's not that kind of show. Isn't that right, my sweeties? Huh? I think my sweetie pie princess doesn't... Yeah, she doesn't seem to realize what's going on. Or even where she is. Hmm. Well, Max, it looks like it's all time to rise to the curtains. I'm sure I'll see you later today. I'm just a member of the audience. Fabulous. Enjoy yourself out there. I'm excited for this trial. You know what's really awesome about this trial so far? I have not had a moment where I needed to look at a goddamn guide. For the last true, uh, last true, for the last two trials, I had at least one moment where I needed to look at a guide. So this one's just flying by. Good luck, Max. You're the best. Regina's different, don't you think, Nick? Time of the morning to you. Hey, everybody, let's get ready to get stuck in legal limbo. How long can you go? Mm. Top of the morning to you, Governor. Uh, top of the morning. That's the ticket. Attacking the day start with energy in the morning. Wait, what? Attacking the day start with energy in the morning. 
Okay, I read that right. The early bird gets the worm, but then again, worms lack higher brain function. Wow. That's kind of sad. <laughs> Here, Max, I bought you a present. Have some milk. Oh my, the thanks. So, how are you today, white? Uh, white, <laughs> right? I said that with like a lisp, white. Well, I got the feeling that today I'm gonna face off against the real culprit. You mean Acro? Huh? You think he did it? Be careful. He's used to putting his life on the line, literally. He got guts to spare. If all I gotta worry about is how thin the tightrope gets, I'm, I'm used to it already. It just means that I won't be able to press him like like any other witness. Ooh. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, so last trial, last part of the trial, we couldn't press Mo because he'll fucking go on a tirade or whatever. This time, we just gotta do it. We just gotta do it. We can't, we can't press him whatsoever. What are you gonna do, Nick? I guess today we'll just have to do without our usual psych psychological warfare. Today we rely on evidence. It's the only way to get- Damn! Damn! Okay! You're right, but it's gonna be tough. Anyways, I want you to make sure that Regina sees it all today. It's important. Maybe she'll fucking... Maybe she'll fucking mature up. Then she'll finally have to deal with the reality of what happened to her father. Oh, damn. Damn, dude. <laughs> you want us to make sure Regina watches? Yes. That's why I brought her here to court today. Damn, Mo, this dude's an MVP. What's that supposed to mean? She she needs to know that when people die, they don't just become stars. I may be an old-fashioned clown, but I don't believe in people becoming stars. God damn. So much bullshit like being whipped, but you can press the wit <laughs> but you can't press the witness, exactly. Or they'll fucking just drop a nuke on me. Court is now in session for the trial of Maximilian Galactica. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Miss Von Karma, you may proceed with your case. The prosecution would like to revise the previous theory of events. What's the meaning of this? We have discovered a new witness, or shall I say, a new eyewitness. One that saw Maximilian Galactica fly off from the scene of the crime. Damn. Order. Order, I say. I had a feeling something like this would come up. Due to this uh, revision, we are now prepared to explain how the defendant flew that night. An explanation the prosecution, uh, the prosecution will present if the need... Uh, blah, 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 blah. An explanation the prosecution will present if the need so arises. In fact, my detective stayed up all night creating a mock-up of the scene on my orders. Poor gumshoe. Aw, oh, shit. She whipped them all night. Very well. Please call your witness at the stand. Time to get to work, or shall I say, time to walk the courtroom typerope. That's fucked up, Phoenix. The man can't walk. <laughs> How dare you? Oh, look at him. Look at him. Fucking calling all natures like a goddamn Disney princess. Name and occupation. Ken Dingling. <laughs> Dingling. <laughs> uh, Ken Dingling, but everyone calls me Acro. I'm employed as an acrobat at the Berry Big Circus. <laughs> Where... Where were you? <laughs> I can't stop laughing at his last name. Where were you the last night of the crime? I was in my room that night. If you look at the map, you will see the witness room is near the crime scene. My room is on the third floor. The crime scene is below my window. Hmm. The night of the crime, the witness saw something quite shocking. Would you tell us what you witnessed? Okay. Damn. Testimony time. It was just after 10 p.m. and I was resting m in my bed. Around the time, I heard a large thump noise from outside the window. Then a few moments later, I saw someone flying right by my window. It was Max Galactica. I only saw him from the front. Uh, I mean, I only saw him from behind, but there, eh. But that's who it looked like. To be honest, when I saw that, I thought I was dreaming. Hmm, this witness testimony matches up exactly with that of the clown. If that's the case, there's very little the prosecution need add. All that's left is to explain how the defendant disappeared into the sky that night. 
Before we get that far, I'd like to cross-examine the witness. A foolish choice by a foolish fool who wishes to feel the foolish sadness of sad fool. A man must know the proper timing for things, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Just like your old friend, Mr. Miles Edgeworth did. Mmm, I hate you. Mr. Wright, do you have a problem with the witness's testimony? In the words of Ms. Von Karma, may I quote yesterday's proceedings? There's no way that actually happened. Very well. You may proceed with your cross-examination. Damn. What I witness. Oh, shit. Okay. Just after 10 p.m.? Okay. Can't cross-examine him. No, no, no. Around the time I heard the large thump noise from outside the window. In a few moments, I saw someone flying right by the window. It was Max Galactica. I only saw him from behind, but that's what he looked like. To be honest, when I saw that, I thought I was dreaming. Huh. Okay, shit. <laughs> hmm. Max Galactica. I saw him from behind, but that's what he looked like. I'm going to use the bust on this. Do I- what? What happened to my picture of the bust? Okay, why is it over here now? No. Okay, that doesn't- that doesn't work. Alright. Okay, hold up. Damn. <laughs> it's really difficult when you can't press the dude. Alright, hold up. I got this. I got this. Right? We got this. My big brain. Uh, then a few moments later, I saw someone flying right by my window. Heard a thump noise from outside the window. Just after 10 p.m., I was resting in my bed. Okay, so that's of course truthful. I assume that's truthful as well. A few moments later, I saw someone flying right by my window. Well, there's no way he could fly. Uh, let's see. If there's a, is there some sort of Some sort of evidence that can just state that he can't really fly. Someone from behind. Honestly, I saw that and I thought I was dreaming. Okay, I'm going to... A few minutes later, I saw someone flying right by my window. Okay. Uh... This is for the symbols. Not really talking about his act. Map of the very circus. Let me take a look at this, make sure that everything's right. Make sure that there's no bullshit about- wait, hold up, what? Lodging house. Acro- okay, yeah, that would make sense. Alright, cool. Um, monkey. Tiger. Time of death is 10 p.m. Huh. Around that time I heard a thump. Just after 10 p.m. So, okay, so it could be 10.15. Damn. You can press any statement. Yeah, I can't press any statement. They said, they told me not to press any statements because I would instantly probably get a game over. They did that last time with the clown. So, it's just evidence. Evidence, man. So, the thump, that's gonna work. Okay, shit. Galactica only saw him from behind, but that's who it looked like. Okay, there's nothing else that I can do here. Well, I mean, not nothing else I can do here. Shit, this is really gonna be a pain in the ass. It has to be. Negotiation papers. Pat. Found out scene of crime. Picture of the crime scene. Okay. I mean, it has to be, um, something with the bust, I assume, right? Let me try the other statement with the bus. Saw someone flying right by my window. Let me see, maybe someone, I'm assuming someone tucked the bus, right? Okay, shit. Hmm. Damn. A few months later, someone flying. Thought it was just not every statement, but some important ones you can. Um, yeah, I know that. I know you can press statements, but for this character specifically, they tell- they're telling me not to press- you know what? I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean. We have to only use evidence, because he'll fucking attack me if I press. Right? 
sure it was a human being. Could have been a mannequin or whatever. Hmm. Whatever, whatever. I'm not even gonna read it, because I know this is gonna be testified to the truth and only the truth. I believe there's human. Hmm. Damn. Just straightened his testimony. Warner Vacro statement. Starts with the facts. Wait, what? Okay. Alright. Well, I guess I can. Alright. There's a contradiction. There's a huge contradiction with the testimony that... Okay. So they told me... That's weird. They told me not to use evidence only. But they didn't say that... Alright. So there are some statements that I can press on. If they seem suspicious, then I can continue with it. Alright. There's a contradiction, then prove it with evidence. Hmm, she's right. Let's see some evidence. Do you have any evidence to support your claim of contradiction? I don't even know what contradiction we're fucking talking about right now, to be honest, but I'm gonna just- I'm just- Again, I'm going with the bust. This. What in the world is this? Ow. Let's just- Uh... You just don't get a D, Mr. Right? What don't I get? You're not gonna be able to get through this one with your usual bluff routine. Your client looks to be ready to take off. Okay, straight towards the guilty verdict. You're right, bluffing. Uh, forgive me more mockery. Sorry that I'm kind of like paraphrasing right now because I'm not even sure what the hell's going on. They told me not to... Am I repeating your testimony? Certainly. Yeah, so like, I, I guess I can do it, but it won't get me nowhere. I just need hard, cold evidence, I assume. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just... I don't even know what I testified there. I'm gonna be honest. Testified. I don't even know what I fucking pressed on there. So... I saw someone flying right by my window. It's weird. They didn't explain it properly. That's so weird. I wish they did. So, I'm just gonna press this one. I'm not sure if this is the one I pressed already. Are you sure it was a human being? Could have been a mannequin. Okay, yeah. There we go. Um, there's nothing wrong. Sure, whatever. Tread lightly. Okay, cool. So it's not that one. I'm gonna press this. That's so weird. The light in your uh, the light in your room was turned off, then, right? That's true. I was going to bed after all. So with the lights off, you were still able to clearly see a human flying by your window. The safety lights uh, lit things from. Uh, the safety lights lit things up enough for me to see. But honestly, there was... There was an... I'm like choking up here, I'm sorry. This is why I need a fucking... Translation error, maybe? Yeah, probably. Probably was a localization error. I mean, they have to translate how many words in a small box. Like, I get it. I just wish it was explained better. But honestly, there was only... <clears throat> sorry. But honestly, there was only enough light for me to see the silhouette outside my window. It was the person's back, so I couldn't see the white rose on the front. Did you see any other symbols? I clearly saw the silk hat, as well as the cloak wrapped around his body. I'm convinced that the person I saw was Max Galactica. Hmm. The, per uh, the more I press him, the less results I seem to get. But maybe there was something fishy with this last bit of testimony. There's nothing wrong. Let's go with the contradiction. There's a huge contradiction with the testimony that was just given. Ah, oh, come on. If there's a contradiction, then prove it with evidence. Hmm, she's right. Let's see some evidence. Do you have any evidence to support your claim of this contradiction? Damn. I don't even... Huh. <laughs> huh. I'm telling you, man. I am so telling you it's the bust. It's the bust. There's no way it's the bust. Look. There's no way it's not the bust. Come on. Okay. Max reward ceremony. I'm just gonna just gonna do the bus. Yeah, we're just gonna do that. It's not gonna get me nowhere. But damn. Okay. It was just after 10 p.m. Shit. Remember what I just said? We were kind of breezing through this trial. Damn. St way to stop me in my tracks. I heard a thump noise. It was just after 10 p.m. Hmm. You said that you were resting in bed. Oh. Uh, one whom does assume that you turned the lights off in your room, correct? We already went through this. 
That's correct. There's safety lights outside. Right statement. Okay. In that case, I'm gonna... He's not even gonna answer. I never really thought of that. I guess that means I'm... I'm off to buy some curtains, huh? Yeah, sometimes I do that myself. Damn. The witness will proceed with this testimony. Okay, so I can... I can safely press... That's been figured out, so just press everything. Get as much information as I can. Your room is on the third floor, right? Yes. And you said that you were resting in bed. That is correct. But you were still able to hear a sound from outside. I was indeed. That's, there's nothing... What, where are you going with this, Phoenix? Pressing acro doesn't seem to get results. Mm -hmm. But maybe something was contradictory of what he said just now. There's nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. What's the matter, Mr. Wright? Nothing, Your Honor. Until I can find a clear contradiction. I should tread lightly. Okay. Let's see. Maybe... Because sometimes this happens. Maybe if I just let his testimony go through, maybe Maya can help me out here. Akra must be lying about what he saw, right? Of course he is. Now the challenge will be exposing his lie in court. Well, um, put the pedal in the metal, Nick. Damn. Hmm. Around the time, I heard a thump. Yeah, we did that. A few moments later, I saw someone flying. We pressed that. Galactica, we pressed that. And then it's the last bit of his testimony. Thought I was dreaming. Were you dreaming? Shit. When did you start thinking that, uh, that what you saw wasn't a dream? That's not important. It kind of is. I believe that the prosecution has done a bit of maintenance on the witness's memory. Hmm. Just to make sure, let's ask the witness. Ow! Objection! S sustained! Don't sustain that! Acro must be lying about what he saw. Okay, shit. Okay. Is there... Let me see. Picture of the crime scene, hat, documents, uh, it's a bottle, the very circus, lay on, time of death, blunt trauma, box, found a pepper, uh, photo, ward, photo ward. It's the bust in the photo ward, place in Acro James Parker in the morning of crime, bronze statue taken from cafeteria before the crime. Shit. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really stumped on this one. Holy fuck. Right off the bat, I got stumped on the first thing. Shit. So much for an easy case. Two moments later, I saw a flight. So the bus didn't do any of this, right? All right, here, here's a quick question, because I'm assuming, right? Is this another situation with the fucking key where the evidence I need to use is something that doesn't have the right description on it? Because if that's the case, then that's some bullshit. <laughs> hmm, well, okay. Because I don't want to pull out a guide unless I have to. Real name, but training, Lawrence, what about Max? Fabulous, aerial illusions. Okay, hold up. A few moments later, I saw someone flying right by my window. Hadley Max, or you were dreaming. Okay, let's assume we can use Max. Yeah? Okay. Think you're on the right track, but try using something else. Okay, so let's... I want to assume using Max as evidence, because it says right here that he does illusions. So maybe... You saw an illusion. That's probably the wrong statement to put it on. But, you know. I'll take the hits, Judge. It doesn't matter. I'll take them. Nothing but licks. Wait, did I... Did I not... <laughs> so I'm from behind that. So did I not press this one? I thought I... Not press. Did I not put the evidence to this one? I'm sorry if I... I'm sorry if I did it already. Fucking... My memory just went. Did I not? Okay, I did. Making sure. Making sure, because usually it just... Okay, because usually it just reverts back to the beginning if it's the last statement that you put evidence on. For some reason, it's not doing that. A few moments later, I saw someone flying right by my window. 
Lose max on that. Don't worry, I'll take the hit. I'll take the hit. It's fine. Right? Because I can just do this. See? Bam. Fine. It's beautiful. We're fine. <laughs> Only saw him from behind. But... Alright, so... Do you need a better hint? Yeah, honestly, I do. Not gonna lie, I honestly do. Because my... Damn. Really? I'll take the better hint. Yeah, I'll definitely take it. <laughs> Hints are better than just whipping out the guide and getting the answer. How's it not the bust? <laughs> How's it not the bust? Uh, made order hat. Negotiations. Three symbols. So on the statement, it was Max, I believe. Okay. Saw so from behind. Was that who it looked like? Okay. Okay. So the bus doesn't work for that one because we tried already. Let's just say... Let's just say we can use an earlier testimony for this. Maybe. Possibly. Because Trillo saw him from behind. Okay, so it's not that. Shit. Damn, really? You know what? Let's... Someone from behind. That's who we looked at. I'm gonna press it. Lights your room. The window. See things. Yeah, we did through all this. Maybe it is the bus and I'm just fucking... Maybe it is the bus, and I'm just stupid. Huge contradiction with the testimony that was just given. Yeah, I'll just... I'll use the, uh, the bus for that. Highly doubt this is it, but... Yeah, of course. Fuck, man. Huh. Where am I? All right, I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna do one more thing. Two more things, actually. Just to be sure, I'm gonna try the bus again, just by itself, and then after that, I'll just try the fucking... I'll try putting the Ringmaster. I'll try using the Ringmaster, because maybe... Because Trillo also said that it could have possibly been the Ringmaster wearing clothes and shit, so... We'll do the bus. Of course, that doesn't work. And then I'll do the Ringmaster. And if that fails, then fuck me, right? Yeah, no, of course. Damn. Yeah, fucking. It's an actual piece of evidence. Oh, fuck, really? be really fucking upset now because now now my mind just exploded with her doy information he said that he saw the hat right the hat was left at the scene of the crime okay what the hell oh my god this is just <laughs> this is bad <laughs> this is the worst i've actually had it jesus really fuck come on man Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe press for the hat? Probably. Because that is, that is still a contradiction, right? Yeah, maybe I do have to press for the hat. You're right. You're probably right about that. You're 100% you're right about that. I have so much faith in it. I have nothing but faith, faith in that. Yeah, because right there it shows him with the hat, but if the hat was found and seen the crime, it would be on the ground. Contradiction. It's the silk hat. You claim to have seen. Okay. 
So it is. All right. Damn. Damn. You know what? I'm going to be honest. I'll take that L. The game could explain it a little bit better that I can press, but I'll take that L. That's my stupidity. I'll take that. He claims to have seen the exact same thing Mo saw the night uh, that night. Do you stand by that? What do you mean? The silk hat. What about the silk hat? I saw a max head as he flew by my window. Well, you should have tried looking down out your window that night. That would have been quite difficult considering the state that I'm in. <laughs> Pity me, I'm in a wheelchair. That's great. Just looking outside of the window was a thought enough challenge. <laughs> was a tough enough challenge for me. That's a shame, because you should have noticed the silk hat found on the scene. That, that the ringmaster's hat, huh? Afraid not. No matter how you look at it, this is Max's silk hat. Where are you going with this, Mr. Wright? Are you saying that Max has two six hat six silk hats? Trying so hard to help and not and not like just give it up. I know, I know it's difficult. I know. I'm being difficult. That's my fault. But I do appreciate the help. I really do. No, this is handmade. One of a kind model made one for Maximilian Galactica. Which means acro. That you've been fibbing on the stand. Order. Order. As always, it looks like someone has... Someone just had to open their mouth before thinking. Are you okay, Nick? Well, I opened my big mouth and now I have to back it up. How about it, Mr. Wright? What would, what would cause this witness to commit a uh, presury in the court? He has a grudge against Max. Arco is dreaming. Arco is the real culprit. I mean, the clown said he's the real culprit. But he doesn't have a grudge against Max. He fucking said, you know, he said it was all cool and dandy. Hmm. I don't think he's the real culprit, but let's go with that. Let's go with that. Your Honor, on this occasion, the defense accuses Arco himself. On this occasion. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. A what? A <clears throat> Can't even say the word. Uh, accuses Arco. What in the world are you accusing him of? Obviously, we accuse him of the murder of Mr. Russell Berry. Mr. Wright, are you serious? Judge, this isn't the first time we've been through this. Deadly serious, Your Honor. This is like literally every case. <laughs> I think your trip to the circus has served you well. You seem to have learned how to try and grab at the audience's heart and minds. Your Honor, don't allow yourself to be swayed by theatrics. Trying to wow the crowd with smoke and mirrors is the oldest bluff in the book. Really? If you don't believe me, just look at the witness. He's, cl he's calm enough for <clears throat> he's calm enough for it to almost be scary. Yeah, he's a psychopathic murderer! He's... <laughs> He's staying rather calm and collected. I mean, let, let's pretend we haven't seen fucking murderers sit there and be like, Nah, man, I'm in the, I'm in the fucking, they're sitting in the cell, they're like, man, this is like a second home to me. Mr. Dingling, do you, Mr. Dingling, Mr. Dingling, do you have any response to the defense's accusation? I don't really need to say a thing, do I? What do you mean? Everyone, take a good look at me. Oh, pity me, I'm in a wheelchair. I can't even stand up by myself, let alone leave the lodging house. That's true. I understand that Mr. Wright is just trying to help his client. But to do this by accusing me of murder of all things. See, even a sliver of common sense makes it clear the accusation is ludicrous. Listen, ma'am. I play Danganronpa. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say no more. But for those who know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> She's right. Why to pick up a way to pick on the disabled, you heartless cool man? Phoenix is a, po a poopy head. See that, Mr. Phoenix? Right. If you're trying to drum up support from the peanut gallery, then that's how you do it. Uh. <laughs> I think that's enough of this little game. I got a doctor's note to confirm that Arco is unable to stand under his own power. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Cause doctors can't be bribed. 
Maybe the defense is planning on making a claim to counter this as well. I can hear the defense now. Arco had an accomplice. What do you say about this, Mr. Wright? Did Arco have an Arco? <laughs> did Arco have an accomplice? No, he didn't. I don't think he did. Now then, this must be when we get to hear the name of the mystery accomplice. Not this time, Von Karma. What? What? You're not gonna sucker me into this one. What are you blabbering about, Mr. Wright? What do you mean blabbering? I'm speaking the truth. This is facts. There was no accomplice. Arco planned and committed this murder all by himself. Order. Order, I say. I keep calling him Arco. His name's Acro. My bad. <laughs> What's the... What are you getting at? Way to keep them on their toes, Nick. Now I'm gonna have to prove how it all fits together. I have to show how Acro murdered, murdered Russell Berry. Can you do it, Nick? Can you really do that? I know what I can't do. I can't stop now. If I stop attacking, I'm doomed. Alright, then let's do it. Mr. Phoenix Wright, if this witness is the killer, then his eyewitness account is all lies, right? Hmm, Mr. Wright, I'd like you to clear something up for me. When the crime was committed, exactly where was Mr. Dingling? Why, he was in his room, of course. He was obviously here the entire time. That's Arco's room. Arco's Acro's. Pretty simple, eh? Acro wasn't able to leave the lodging house by himself. In that case, there can only be one correct answer. Acro didn't leave his room to kill the ringmaster. What? Are you nuts? What are you saying, Mr. Uh, <laughs> what says you, Mr. Dingling? This guy's a murderer. Ah, uh, it's an interesting theory. Huh? That's it? Considering that what you propose is possibly is impossible, yes, it is. Hmm. Mr. Wright, yes, Your Honor. As the witness has stated, your assertions is impossible. As he is in a wheelchair, there's no way he could go to the scene or be the killer. I don't know, man. Have you seen JoJo Part Five? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I'm not gonna spoil it, but that's all I'm saying. <laughs> hmm. You got a point. It seems you've forgotten once again, Mr. Phoenix, right? The defendant was clearly spotted at the scene of the crime. That's true. Uh-huh. Mo said that he saw Max, didn't he? But Maya, it's still impossible for humans to fly. Do you mind if I ask a question, Mr. Wright? What is it? I understand some, some of your logic. However, how do you think that I killed him? You thwacked him in the head with the bust. If I can't leave my room, I obviously couldn't wear Max's costume. Damn, honestly. That is a good... How would he get his hands on the costume? Unless the monkey just went and yoinked it up. That's the next course of... Uh, that's the next course of this legal buffet. Be careful, Nick. If you mess up here... She's right. I can't mess up here. I gotta give this some serious thought. You're damn right I do. I'm sure that Acro killed the Ringmaster, and he did it while he was in his room, no doubt about that. Time to enlighten us. How did Mr. Dingling commit the crime? Present said evidence. I'm gonna present some evidence. So, what did Mr. Dingling use to commit the crime of the murder against Russell Berry? I'm telling you, he, he knocked him in the head with a bust. What's that? A picture? It is indeed. The problem is with the item that's shown in the picture. The bust. It's quite a large bust, and because of its life size, it's also very, very heavy. Very heavy. Heavy enough to guarantee a, sing a certain death, especially if it was dropped from a third story window. Uh? uh? Hmm. See? This is how Acro was, was able to kill the Ringmaster. With the force of gravity and Maximilian Galactica's ample bust. Order. Order, I say. So you're saying the bust fell onto the ringmaster? A rather simple crime. 
even if you were stuck, even if you were struck in the, uh, struck, even if you were stuck in a wheelchair, it would be incredibly easy to commit. How could you possibly wheel a wheelchair with something so heavy? Wait, what? How can you possibly wheel a wheelchair? What? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. I was confused for a moment. Well, Acro is an acrobat. He should have more than enough upper body strength to carry something like a bust. Mr. Dingling? How do you- Dingling? Mr. Dingling, how do you, how do you respond to these charges? Well, Agro's at a loss for words. He should be. He knows that I'm getting close to the truth. Well, 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 Agro. You can't run away from things. Ow! I watch what I say if I were you, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? Come on, Your Honor. The physical health of the witness is material in this case. I determined that we get proper testimony from the witness himself. Hmm. Testimony, you say? Von Karma. She's just using this testimony as a rouse to stall for time. Rouse? Ruse. There's, <laughs> there's absolutely no need for such testimony. The defense has its version of the murder. The prosecution has the right to respond. The defense objection is overruled. Why can't I... Why can't he see things my way once in a while? Mr. Dingling, I'm sorry, but you need to... Uh, we need you to testify about your physical condition. If you have any doubts about your ability to testify, we can request expert testimony. Wait, what? <laughs> the witness will have no problems. However, that's all the respect... Uh, let's all be respectful towards him. Thank you. Ah, that woman... Woman will sink to any low to win a case. My fucking... <laughs> my voice is going because I have no water. That's what's happening right now. I suppose I could have lifted something that size, uh, something the size of the bus. I have a strong upper body from working as an acrobat, and only my legs were injured. However, lifting the bus and looking out the window could have been impossible. There's no way I could have, no way I could have exerted that kind of force on my lower body. That makes it impossible for me to have known the location of the ringmaster's head. Thus, it would be unrealistic for me to drop the bus onto him, don't you think? Hmm. I have no doubts in this regard to the witness's testimony. It was impossible for him to lift the bus and stick himself out far enough to look. Not to mention that he cannot... <clears throat> that he could not have known the location of the ringmaster's head. A, sing a single fell step would have led to even more severe injuries. That's what I was thinking. What, are your opinion on what is your opinion on this, Mr. Wright? I still like to proceed with my cross-examination. He's simply stalling. It's shameful, really. I can't let her go to me. I can't let her get to me. I gotta focus. Damn. So. Right now, it's either... It's either... The note... Or the monkey. Because of the monkey. He, he has a way with animals, as you can see. Uh, I suppose could have lift something the size of the bus. I have strong upper body. We're going to have a battle legs injured. However, lifting the bus and looking out the window would have been impossible. There's no way I could have exerted that kind of force on my lower body. It makes it impossible for me to know the location of the ringmaster's head. Hmm. What does it say exactly on this? Uh, you haven't forgotten what happened six months ago, have you? Close to evidence, take place. Meet me tonight at the Lodging House Plaza. Hmm. Now, I can use this. I'm not sure if they'll accept it. Because they, because even though it says meet him at the plaza, are they going to be like super detailed and be like, well, he couldn't be exactly under his window. He could have been to the left of his window or something like that, you know? But, eh, let's try it. Okay, I highly... Okay, cool. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. To know the location of the ringmaster's head. Uh, why do you say it would be impossible? Allow me to explain. You accept that if I was carrying the bus, I couldn't see out the below the window. 
Thus, there's no way that I wouldn't know the location of the ringmaster's head. Well, I suppose you got a point. Hey, Nick. Huh? What if you turn things around? Maybe if you think of it sort of like this. If he knew the location of the ringmaster's head, then he could drop the bus. That does make sense. If only I can prove somehow. Okay. I can do the location of the hex without looking down. Hmm. I think I already explained this sufficiently. Okay, this would be unrealistic for me to drop the bus on him. So it's not that. Maybe it's... Alright, we'll try the monkey, right? Monkey who takes care of Acro. No. Hmm. Not the monkey. Alright. But it's definitely that statement. Definitely that statement. Let's see. Uh, document. Uh, bottle. Map of the very circus. Box. What in box? Hmm. Grand Prix reward. Note. Giant bust. I highly doubt that any of this has to do anything. Uh, what about the crime scene? Huh. Okay. Time of death, blood force trauma. Unrealistic for me to drop the bus, don't you think? Let's check out the earlier statements, real quick. There's no way I could have exerted that kind of force in my lower body. That's true, that's not a contradiction. However, lifting the bus out of the window would have been impossible. Why is that? Because if I were able to do that, I'll end up falling, on the, falling out the window myself. I still haven't gotten much feelings back in my legs yet. So you couldn't have thrown the bus out of the window. Okay. So it's definitely that statement. It's just... Victim. Father. Fuck. Sounds... How would... Big Bear Circus. The monkey. Lion. Victim was hunched over, 20 pound box, close to a small but strong lock. <laughs> I can do it. I can't do it. That's the problem here. Shit. Outside the wooden box with Pepper, photo of Max's reward ceremony. Placed by Arco in his pocket on the morning of the crime. Would the box have anything to do with it? I don't think so, but. I don't think the box would have anything to do with it. Uh, you're on the right track. Okay. Possible to have known the location. Unrealistic for me to drop the bust on him, don't you think? Alright. First of all, I just want to load this up because I want my health back. Second of all, so I, I want, I have a feeling that it's def, that it's this statement, but I'm going to try, I'm going to try this with the monkey. Because the monkey can drop it. Fuck, are you serious? Why, why you gotta be difficult on the third day? Damn. Did I, did I press this statement? Don't you think it would've been positive? I think I, I pressed the statement, right? I should've. I'm gonna assume that I pressed the statement, whatever. Fuck. Damn. 
crime scene picture I really hope I really hope the evidence I, I don't have to use is the fucking crime scene photo I really hope it's not um order hat document file juice found broken up okay don't need that map of the big bear circus da -da 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 -da. yeah there's all sorts of shiny objects the animal shows lions not shit Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Taking from cafeteria before the crime. Huh. I don't... Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Injure both legs while training. It's still in a coma. Punched over. What about fuck? I'm overthinking this. I'm so overthinking this. It's so bad that I know I'm overthinking the absolute fuck out of this. Fuck. It would be unrealistic for me to drop. There's no. That doesn't sound like a contradict. It's this one. Impossible to have known the location of the ringmaster. Fuck. Are you serious, man? Flashes. Fuck. <laughs> it's bothering me. I'm so close. Uh. Hope you're not giving uh not giving away too much. Mm, no, you're not. It's it's fine. You're not. You're definitely not giving away too much. Fucking shit. <laughs> really. Evidence, meet me at 10 p.m. tonight at the Lodging House Plaza. Like, how the fuck? I don't know the location of the ringmaster's there. Help me, Maya! Fuck! What do you say would be impossible? Allow me to explain, except I was carrying the bus through the window. There's no way I wouldn't know the location of the tent. Well, I suppose you got a point. Huh? What if you turn things around? Maybe you think of sort of like this. If he knew the location of the ringmaster's head, then he could drop the bus. If I knew the location of the man... That's if, uh... You know what? So close, I really am. Fuck. It does make sense. If only I can prove somehow. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'll use the crime photo. Because maybe the crime photo, maybe the crime photo, he's right under his window. That's the only other thing that I can possibly think about at this moment. Motherfucking... Ugh. It's the finer details. That's what it is. It's the ones that you gotta, you gotta... Look past what it says here, a picture of the crime scene. Whatever, man. It doesn't even show a fucking window. It doesn't even say he's where he's looking. Whatever, man. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. Arco, Acro, whatever the fuck your name is, you're pissing me off. You didn't really need to lean out of the window, did you? What are you driving at, Mr. Wright? You already knew the, ahead of time where the ringmaster's head was going to be. Quite precisely, I may add. You're still, you're still hinting at things as, uh, hinting at things as pointless. Wow, you're, you're still, you're still hinting at things as pointless, Mr. Phoenix, right? Now stalling. How about you show us some evidence? But, but I didn't. I did such a good job. Yes, yes, yes. Hurry up and explain things, Mr. Wright. Maybe you should take a look at this. The key point here is that the wooden box. So the wooden box did have something to do with it. What? Did he? Wait a minute. Okay, hold up. I always assumed that he carried the wooden box with him. So the wooden box was definitely the evidence that he had to prove that he was a murderer. Or that Regina was a murderer. Maybe he tried to kill Regina instead. And her dad took her spot. 
So he would hear he would hear him go and pick up the fucking wooden box, and the moment he does that, just drop the fucking bus. The same wooden box that the victim was found hunched over. Mm, the same. The question is, who placed the wooden box here? Who? When Ben and company saw the ringmaster, they didn't see him holding the box. Which means that the wooden box was already placed at the scene of the crime. I have to admit that your theory makes a lot of sense. The moment that the bus came falling down, it was exactly the same moment the ringmaster lifted up this wooden box. Okay. Okay. Which means that the answer of all these questions is now crystal clear. You... you mean... If the bus were to fall upon the point of marked out by the wooden box... Oh, shit. There would be no way that he could miss the head of the victim. No. Masaka. How dare you. Order! Order, I say! This is unbelievable! Finally, some of those loose ends are starting uh, starting to tie themselves up. Now I just gotta keep going, and there's only one way to go from here, forward. So the next question I have is, who placed the wooden box at the scene? It was Mr. Dingling, of course. He connected it to a rope, and then, yep. And all he had to do was lower it down. Ow! Allow me to whip some sense into you. Allow me to press charges for assault. The ringmaster's head could have been anywhere when you lifted the box. See, that's what I'm talking about. See, that's why I didn't want to fucking use certain evidence, because they can be like, man, he could have been to the left of the window or the right of the window. That's why the box was so specifically, uh, specifically? <laughs> what the hell? That's not even a word. Uh, specially made. <laughs> specially made. Indeed. It had the most particular, uh, peculiar feature. The weight of the box it was heavy as shit. The box had a remarkable weight. Weight. According to the courtroom, it weighs 20 pounds. Just to lift up the wooden box would have required... Oh, I see. Lifting with your knees. One would have to squat down and then lift it up with their body. You gotta lift with your knees. Do that fucking perfect squat. Get that solid snake ass. Listen, I don't care what you say. Every man dreams to have a solid snake ass. That's the ass of a fucking god. <laughs> That's exactly what I... <laughs> went off the rails there. That's exactly what I was trying to point out. The box is also very large. The box is also, also has carrying handles on either side, doesn't it? That's correct. To lift up the box, you have to squat down. Which means... That no matter who you are, your head would be at approximately the same place. Fool. I'm not a fool. You're the fool. How dare you. Does he even bother to listen to me anymore? I've heard what you had to say. Hmm? I must admit, I'm shocked of your imaginative skills. You did do it. Did you place the wooden box in the plaza? Mr. Wright may have a vivid imagination, but I could never have done what he's proposing. What? Mr. Wright, do you recall the original location of Max's bust? Yeah. Of course I remember. It was on top of the table in the cafeteria. What? What? What, what happened? <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Jesus, I'm sorry. I'd like you to remember one important fact, Mr. Wright. I cannot possibly leave the lodging house by myself. Oh, that means... <laughs> you understand what I made? That scared the shit out of me. I was like, what, what did I press? <laughs> I may very well have been able to drop the bus from my room. However, how would I have gotten the bus from the cafeteria to my room? The monkey. It was the monkey. The monkey did it. You see, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Explain that. Don't forget, you said there's no accomplice. Ah, uh, uh, Fuck, because the monkey's an accomplice. Shit! Tells exactly how the witness would have carried the bus from the cafeteria. Yep, we definitely have a problem here. But this is no place to get perplexed. I gotta, I gotta get my, oh fuck. <laughs> I gotta get my wits about me and 
prove how things happen once and for all. After I save my game. <laughs> after I have my safety net. Alright, Mr. Wright. Let's hear your explanation. How did the witness get the bus from the cafeteria back to his room? It was by help of his accomplice, the monkey. A monkey? Everyone knows money. He loves shiny objects and, and any uh, of any size. Oh, like when he stole the ventriloquist's ring. So, are you saying the witness had a monkey steal the bus? Of course he didn't order the monkey to steal it. The monkey just brought it to him. The monkey stole it on his own and brought it back to its home. Oh. So technically that way you didn't have an accomplice. Wow, that's... Wow, Phoenix! Home. Money lives in Arco's Arco's. I'm just gonna keep calling him Arco. I know it's not Arco's Acro. I'm gonna keep calling him Arco. It just rolls off my tongue better. <laughs> Arco's room. Arco's room. But the bus was bronze. Wasn't it bronze? Uh, bronze isn't all that shiny. When the light shines off of it, maybe, uh, maybe you should put... Wow. <clears throat> Maybe you should put the whip down sometimes and read the court record. My, those are some very nice cards you holding. Yes, and they are made of platinum, which is very shiny. I'm sorry, does that... Excuse me, does it actually say that in the court re record? Fuck you, Phoenix! It doesn't say that in the goddamn court record! I didn't even know it was made of platinum, you bitch! How dare you! <laughs> Arco. Money is a strong monkey, right? It'd be easy for him to bring the bus back to your room. If he wasn't able to handle that himself, I'd be on the market for a new roommate. Order. Order, I say! Miss Von Karma! Where's the bus in question at this moment? Uh, I don't know. We're searching for it as we speak. Hmm, this is rather strange turn of events. But let's say that the money, money? <laughs> let's say that the monkey has not stolen the bus. What would have happened then? Well, in that event, something else would have been used as a murder weapon. Hmm, wait. Do you, do you mean this bus was the murder weapon purely by accident? It's possible. Maybe Arco saw money's mountain, wow. So money's mountains of stolen goods and thought to use it, use one of them. Anyways, I think we've more important. Oh wow! I think we've more. Ugh. I think we've more than proven one critical fact, namely that it was entirely possible that Arco was the murderer. Moron! Now call me a moron. Mr. Wright's argument was so critical, uh, so circular, circular. I'm still a bit dizzy, however. His argument does hold water. There's no denying that. Ow! Don't seem so flam flam what? Flam blues <laughs> what? Flam bulls old. Wow, that's a that's a new one. <laughs> Especially by the fraud of an attorney. I'm not a fraud. You've forgotten the most absolute most important thing, Mr. Phoenix, right? And what's that? You should know. You forgot that your fraud of a magician client was spotted at the scene of the crime. Huh? There's no reason to doubt the clown's testimony. That's true. How do you respond to, to that, Mr. Phoenix, right? Nick, don't let her beat you down. I mean, she already has in the last trial. My chance to turn this trial around. When the murder... They're fucking... They're gonna start questioning me. When the murder occurred, there were two people at the scene of the crime. One was the victim, Russell Berry, and the other was the murderer himself. Answer this and only this, Mr. Phoenix, right? Who was the murderer the clown saw? Why? It was the bust. He saw Max's arrow. I asked you who was the other person Mo saw at the scene of the crime. The evidence has nothing to do with the question. Objection. On the contraire, mon frere. What? <laughs> mon frere? It does indeed, it does indeed have something to do with the question. Uh, question? What, did I read that right? I fucking like, my mind blinked for a moment. Mo said that he saw Max's silhouette. But he didn't not, but he did not, fuck, I can't read. <laughs> but he did not actually see the man himself. 
It wasn't a human being he saw. How, how is this possible? It's simple, really. What Mo actually saw was, that night was Max's bust. What are you talking about? Have you tried using your brain at all in this case? Multiple times, actually. <laughs> the silhouette he saw was wearing a clock. Clock, cloak. There's no reason why you couldn't attach a cloak to a bust. It would be easy to hang one off, off those cards in the bus's hands. Idiot. Who in their right mind would put a cloak on a bus? It doesn't matter who put it on the bus. Wait a minute now. Stop fighting, children. I will turn this car around. But who the uh, but <laughs> who put the cloak on the bus? The question of the utmost importance to this case, don't you agree? Doll, oh, he got me. So let's have it, Mr. Wright. Who will put the cloak on the bus? Why? The person who put a cloak on the bus was Acro himself. He did it. Hmm, I wonder, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Did the defendant wear his cloak the entire time he was practicing? Fuck. Mm. How the fuck? Damn. Was it Max? Did Max put it? Max wouldn't have done that. Huh. So then, how did this person get a hold of the cloak? Well, uh, furthermore, how would this person have gotten the cloak onto the bus, I wonder? Because this person was not spotted at the scene. Mm, I'm sorry. Shit. When she's so nice about telling me I'm wrong, <laughs> it hurts even more. Ow! What the fuck? The famous Von Karma carried and whip approach. Damn it! So let's have it, Mr. Wright. Who put the cloak on? You're an asshole. It couldn't be... It couldn't be Max. He said he put it on the fucking... What the hell? He said he put it on the stand. I wouldn't... I wouldn't think it would be the ringmaster. No way. It's definitely not the... <laughs> it's definitely not the monkey. Maybe... I mean, the monkey could have done it, but... Was it... I don't think it was Max. It couldn't have been Max. Max was seen at the fucking... What? I'm gonna do the monkey. Yeah, of course not. Of course not. Yeah, I'm not letting you whip me again. How dare you? How dare you? Fuck. Huh. Who the hell? It could have been Max. He said he put his shit on the coat rack. Right? Unless the fucking... Unless, I, don't, I don't think the ringleader would do it. Who the hell? Wait a minute. Alright. Hold up. Okay. Who put the cloak on the bus? Real name Benjamin Wood without his puppet Trillo. Won't say much. I mean, like... I don't think it was Max. There's no way it could be Max. There's no way it could be Max. And they said it wasn't the monkey. <sighs> I'll, I'll, I'll choose Max. Nope. Alright. Fuck. I'm not, I'm not getting whipped. I refuse. This one is just trial and error, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Fool. Him? Are you saying it was the victim himself? Barry Russell. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, the victim himself placed the cloak on the bus? Place the cloak isn't really the right way I would put it. Then what... What the fuck? Then what would you be... What? Explain yourself. Nick, do you really have a handle on this? Fuck no! I'm fine, Maya. Finally putting it all together. There's really only one picture I want to paint, anyways. Alright. So, you want to know what the real what really happened that night? Let's step back in time. Acro used his rope to lower the wooden box onto the scene. Then he attached the rope to the bus, and dangled the bus out of his bedroom window, directly above the wooden box. 
At the same time, the ringmaster told Max to wait in this room and went, to, and went to the scene. Of course, at the time, the ringmaster was wearing Max's costume. And Max just didn't notice it? What? <laughs> what? The whole entire time, the whole entire night, there was never a moment of, huh, my, my fucking, my cloak is gone. What? <laughs> what? Perhaps he didn't want anyone to recognize him that night. But just as I feared, just as he feared, he was spotted the entrance of the lodging house. <laughs> By none other than the ventriloquist and his puppet, Ben, his puppet, Ben and Trillo. When the ringmaster arrived at the scene, he bent over and left the wooden box. But how? How? What? And that's when Acro took his chance and released the rope. Now this is when the magic happens. At the very instant, the bus hit the victim. What the fu- wait. Huh? <laughs> I'm still... Fucking dumbfounded at this, because at no point did Max say, Hey, by the way, he took my coat and my hat. All Max said is like, I put it on the fucking rack. And the man went that night, and I stayed in the room, and he never came back. At no point did he say, I got up, and I looked at the rack, and I said, Oh, look, my costume's gone, because, you know... That's not a fucking, that's not something a normal person does. But, really. That man got clomped in the head. Huh. Wait, wait a second. As much as you try, as much as you scheme, this just isn't true. It can't be. It's still a little early to be getting so upset, Miss Von Karma. This circuit is uh, this circus isn't over yet. Yeah, this definitely is a fucking circus. What? The impact of the bust on the victim threw the cloak up, which snagged onto the bust. That impact also caused the sound a uh, sound of uh, fuck. Also caused the sound a certain witness heard, prompting him to look. That witness was, of course, Lawrence Mo Curls, the clown. When Mo looked out his window, the cloak had already snagged onto the bus. Now, having completed the crime, Arco naturally went about pulling up the murder weapon. Of course, he had no idea that Mo saw the bus being raised with the cloak dangling on it. Primarily because in this wheelchair, he couldn't see out of his window. So, he just kept pulling the bus up. I love the way that thing flies away. It's fucking, it's goofy looking as shit. I love it. <laughs> and that is how the magical murder disappeared. <laughs> magical murderer disappearing into the night sky came to be. So you see, the only person who could have pulled this off is, is the one person who was able to drop the murder weapon from above the crime scene. Acro, it could only be you. Acro's been playing mind games with us from, with all of us. He sure has. But he has come to the end of his rope now. So. What now? You've graced us with a rather long-winded tale. But do you have any evidence to prove your fairy tale is true? E evidence? <laughs> I love how the judge is like, evidence? We need that? Is that something we need? I thought I was just going to do the verdict. In this court, only two things matter. The power of evidence and the power of my wit. I'm not, I'm not sure about the second one. Don't forget the power of my gravel as well. Okay, I'm sure about that one. Mr. Wright, the prosecution brings up a good point. Can we see some evidence? Nick, they say they, wanted, they want evidence. I just explained how there can only be one possible murder method. But there is still something unusual about Moe's eyewitness account. Unusual? A contradiction, actually. Okay, then. Use that and get out of this jam. Huh? 
And that's enough t and that's enough talking amongst yourselves. Proceed, Mr. Wright. Present some evidence to the court that backs your claim. I want hard proof that you unraveled the trick to the magic to the magic case. Uh here? Yeah, yeah, I assumed as much. Fuck you, Acro. Yeah, 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 that's not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, that, yeah. Try again. <laughs> if they had been silent for two more seconds, I would have screamed. Explain how it can only be possible murder method. Something unusual about Moe's eyewitness. Unusual. A contradiction, actually. Contradiction of what? Just realized that most full name is pun on Three Stooges. You just you just realized that? <laughs> I realized that I realized the whole entire case they all they do is call him a stooge. They call him Mo. His last name is Curls. His first name is Lawrence. <laughs> His first name is Lawrence, right? <laughs> just realized that. That's enough talking amongst yourselves. All right. Evidence of the court backs your claims. Hard proof that you have unraveled the trick to the... What? <laughs> Hard proof of what, motherfucker? Unraveled the trick. What do you mean? The fucking invisible... Don't even know the Lawrence part. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that's his first name. They, they said his full name at the beginning of the trial, right? <laughs> Three famous symbols... Big Berry Circus, Monkey, Ammo, uh, Hunched Over Box, blah blah, so it's not this. Yeah. Award Ceremony. I don't... Or proof that you haven't rattled the trick to this magic. I mean, he told me. Aerial Illusions. He told me himself that he does aerial illusions. I mean, wait, what do you mean unraveled the trick? What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, I don't. What? <laughs> the hell y'all on about? You want me to present the fucking the award ceremony? You guys are on some shit. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying is these guys are on some. They're on some crazy shit. Are proof that you have unraveled the trick to this magic case. What? <laughs> I'll be honest, that really is confusing me. Grand Prix. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know. What do you people want from me? I hate all of you. Each and every person in this fucking courtroom right now. You too, Maya. Contradiction? What the fuck? Hold up. You fuck. You kidding me? <laughs> Figure surface. Emily has three symbols. Picture of the crime scene. What the fuck you mean, Moe's account? Ringmaster's old friend, the pleasant stooge of the clown. Uh. Both legs. Six months in the coma. Regina Berry's father. Huh? evidence court hard proof that you have unraveled the trick to this magic case what the fuck I don't even know what I'm be honest I really don't even know what they're talking about I don't even know what they're hinting at she said Moe's fucking testimony but like what I honestly don't even know what the hell he's on about. Bronze. Bronze crime. I want a box victim was hunched over. It contained pepper. Blood force trauma. Uh, the animal show lion shot. Ringmaster six months ago for biting the performer. What? Sure, the line, why not? Yeah, of course not. Fuck. What the hell 
are they on about? Got the power of my gravel as well, Mr. Wright. Nick, they say they want evidence, example of how there can only be one possible murder method. Okay. Still something unusual about Mo's eyewitness account. Okay. Contradiction. The account that they're using is that he saw him fly up into the sky. Hard proof that the rival trick to match can't. Picture of the crime scene, made the order, document related. Got a normal story a week ago. And blood smacks three symbols. Orange juice. Is it orange juice, really? Who the fuck drinks orange juice out of a goddamn glass bottle like this? I just realized this. What the hell? This is wine. This is wine. Get the fuck out of here. How dare you? Orange juice. The hell, that's wine. Gathers all sorts of shiny objects. Time of death. Found inside the wooden box, the victim was hunched over. It contained pepper. Photo of Max's award ceremony. Place the energy in his pocket. It's the pepper. <laughs> yeah, I knew it wasn't the pepper. It was a joke. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It wasn't a funny joke. It was a terrible joke. It was terrible. I just wasted everyone's time. <laughs> Damn it. Do they really want me to just, like, use Mo? Is that what they want me to do? They just want me to use Mo? Is that what I have to do? Do I just have to fucking use Mo? What the fuck are these people on about? Of course, when I get to the end of this case, it becomes, like, super difficult compared to the rest of the shit that we just flew by. God damn it. On the crime scene. Fabulous final crime scene. What the hell are they trying to get me to do? What the hell you mean fucking unravel the trick? be honest I think I think it's just I think it's just time to look up the guide I don't <laughs> I'm not sure hard proof that if you don't rattle the trick to this match case I really don't know fucking sure here you go it's a poster what <laughs> I didn't look up the guide I was about to I'm not gonna lie I was but what the fuck you mean is the po the problem here is Max's three symbols. You know, the silk hat, the cloak, and the winter rose. Winter, white rose. Those symbols were a problem numerous times during yesterday's proceedings. Yesterday, there were two contradictions in Mo's testimony. Okay. The silk hat was one, the white rose were the other. But the theory I just presented explains all of these contradictions. You fool. Do you ever shut up? Max assumed how it was found at the scene of the crime. However, remember that Mo said yesterday. He testified that the criminal he saw fleeing the scene was wearing a silk hat. Okay. There's only one explanation for that. The silk hat that Mo saw was actually the bust. Alright. I'm assuming that I'm assuming this is just another translation error? Cause I don't what it's pretty it's pretty a fuck it's a pretty broad term to be like tell me that tell me the evidence that made you unravel the the secrets of this case what secrets what secrets are we talking about what do you mean you could have just said tell me it's a stretch yeah like wh what's happening here <laughs> they gave me no clue as to what the hell I'm trying to disprove like when he says that I'm like oh do you mean give you a motive as to why he fucking killed him sure here's the note Makes sense if you look at it that way, 
Then he did see the silk hat. Well, sort of. Fine, he got one, but what about the other contradiction? The other contradiction. Remember what he said the Ventulka, uh, remember what the Ventulka said in court? He said that he witnessed a white rose on Max's uh, chest that night. Well, the bus has that too. But the clown's testimony doesn't match. Well, he saw him from behind. The clown said that there were no white roses. I'd like to see you try and explain that one. You can do it, Nick. You're damn right I can. Of course I can explain all of it. Now you're now you're telling me. Now you're giving me something to actually explain. Well, what's that? Please recall the instant when the when a cloak snagged onto the bus. If the cloak snagged onto the bus, what happened to the white roses? What they ripped? Oh, they got covered. Do you get it yet? If the cloak got snagged on uh, on the front of the bus, it means that the white roses would end up on the back of the bus. Huh. Which explains why Mo didn't see them. The white roses were not visible because they were on the back of the <laughs> on the back side of the bus. Okay, I like. <laughs> I'm having like a hard time reading it because as he's talking about it, I'm like how the fuck did we get here why are we even talking about this because they didn't explicitly ask for this they just said tell me the trick about the fucking what <laughs> they just went off the rails I just hit my microphone by accident it's my bad <laughs> this is quite the shock uh, shocking state of affairs Mr. Wright's theory still sounds a bit absurd to me However, let's just keep going down this road for a while and see where it leads. Let's do it, Nick. Then maybe Von Karma will finally throw in the towel. Acro? Well, so much for that theory. Mr. Wright, do you mind? What is it? And then he just stands up. You took the time to research our circuits, did you? didn't you? Well, yes, I did. Is there something, anything... Is there something, anything? Is there something making you think that I didn't? If you did, then maybe you'll understand why I think you're off track. Uh, why is that? Motive. This witness feels an incredible debt or <clears throat> incredible debt of gratitude towards the ringmaster. Anyone with any relationship to the circus is well aware of this. Huh. Thus, there's absolutely no way someone like this would someone like this would have killed the ringmaster. That's because he's not trying to kill the ringmaster. He tried to kill Regina. But Regina is so fucking stupid that she didn't know what the hell was going on. So she just put it on the fucking... Oh, man. What? Hmm. Your Honor, I'd like you to hear Acro's story. Learn about his relationship with the ringmaster and his life up till now. What do we do? There's no doubt in that Acro deeply respected the ringmaster. Acro's motive, hmm. It seems that the case isn't over yet. Very well. However, I feel this is a good place to take a break. I will listen to the rest of Mr. Dingling's testimony after recess. This course will not take a 10 minute recess. Are you fucking... What? <laughs> well, we're finishing this fucking case tonight. There's no way I'm fucking to be continuing this shit. There's no way. December 30th. Oh, really? This takes place in December. <laughs> I can't believe it. Acro. It's pretty shocking, isn't it? It definitely is. And to think it was always the most straightforward of the group. Jeebus. I th <laughs> I'm that hated? <clears throat> Acro tried to pin the murder on you on purpose. He... he did? But... but I'm nothing but a little old nobody, you know? But you're not, which is kind of the reason why. <laughs> hey, pal. You're gonna ignore me after I went all this trouble to bring you some evidence? Ah, oh, Detective Gumshoe. Ah, forget it. I'm going home. This guy deserves to be guilty anyways. Now, now, Detective. I'm sorry. Look. Hey, don't... uh, why don't you relax a little? Got some really tasty milk. How about a card trick, Detective? What the fuck? <laughs> well, if you insist. 
Now about that evidence you mentioned, what is it? Here you go. Huh? This was yesterday's... This was yesterday in Acker's room. Yep, and I've included the forensic results. Take a look. Won't Miss Von Karma be mad that you're doing this? And that's why this is all a secret. Huh? Look, details are all details are on a need to know basis. And we're not really allies or anything. Okay, whatever, Gumshoe. But everything that happens in court until now has been going according to our plan. Our plan. I don't know. Miss Von Karma didn't seem to control as didn't see, didn't seem in control of things just now. You'll figure it out eventually, pal. It's fucking is Edgeworth puppeteering shit from the background? Yesterday, our final plans were set into motion. Final plans? Uh-huh. That reminds me. I got a message from the prosecutor for you. Nothing is ever truly decided until the very end. And that is... And this is for me too, pal. I'm out of here. What? What do you mean by that? The very end part. I'm not sure. It's all pretty cryptic to me. Oh, one more thing. Ah, uh, don't scare me like that. It looks like there's a large care package from the circus for the defendant. What? For me? It's milk. The reception area looks like it looks some looks like some kind of some kind of dairy. So hurry up and drink it all before it spoils. An entire dairy's worth of milk for me? Damn. So everyone thinks Max is an asshole, but they're like, listen, he's an asshole, but he's not. Come on. Court is now back in session. Miss Von Karma, please continue from where you left off. I'd like to continue with Acker's testimony, starting with his relationship to the victim. I also like to get proof from the defense. Proof of what kind of motive Acker could have uh, proof of what kind of motive Acker would have to commit this crime. Understood. Now, Mr. Dangling? Yes, Your Honor. Please proceed with your testimony. Finally, we get the motive. Wait, Nick, are you okay? Just do me a favor and don't ask any questions you don't want to answer to. Ah, uh, shit. Testimony. Alright. When we were little, we were abandoned by our parents. That's when the ringmaster of Barry Big Circus, Russell Barry, took us in. I became an acrobat around nine years ago. I wanted to find a way to repay Mr. Uh, the Ringmaster. That was my sole purpose in life. Hmm. You're such a thoughtful young man. As you heard, the witness deeply respected the victim. I wonder how would, <laughs> I wonder how anyone could think that Acro would have killed the man he held so, uh, in such esteem. You're absolutely right. How could anyone think that, Mr. Wright? Which is why there's no real need for cross-examination here. Actually, that's the question I'm trying to answer myself. I mean... He didn't mean to kill him. He definitely meant to kill Regina. Why would Acro kill the Ringmaster? This might be my last chance to answer that question. No need to question him now. The defense has a right to cross-examine the witness. Hmm. You're so tactless, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You don't care about justice, do you? You just want to fabricate a motive. Very well, Mr. Wright. Cross-examine the witness. I don't even think there's any there's anything to contradict here. When I was little, I abandoned parents. I'm just gonna press everything. We? Yes, my brother Sean and I. Fucking Sean, spelled the most dumbass way possible. Well, you have. <laughs> <laughs> that was really that was really hostile what I just said. Damn. How old were you, were you when you when this happened, Acro? I was eight years old and my brother was four. Hmm. Your parents were very cruel, cool, weren't they? Nowadays, we aren't bitter about what happened to us. Because it allowed us to meet a wonderful people at the very big circus. Nick, the judge is getting misty eyed. Got a soft spot for sob stories, it looks like. Ow! No crying in court! Let's keep going. The witness may proceed with his testimony. Okay. How would you describe your relationship with the Ringmaster? He was like an uncle, a father, and a big brother all rolled up in one. The Ringmaster was my brother, 
Uh, a what? No. The Ringmaster and my brother were the only family I had. Hmm. What about other people at the circus? This was over 15 years ago. Back then, there was very few customers coming in. Some, uh, some no one, wait, some no one really had the time to look after us. That's where, uh, that, 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 that I can't read. <laughs> they were worried about other things. God. <laughs> I'm getting tongue twisted here. But the ringmaster, he would always come see us with a laugh and smile. What a beautiful story. That's why I always, that's why I was always thinking of what I could do to help. I wanted to thank him. Nick, isn't Akra such a wonderful person? I know, he seems like a nice guy, which is what makes it so difficult. Hmm. So then how long have you been a performer? Became an acrobat around nine years ago. He started off as an acrobat at an early age. I begged the ringmaster until he finally agreed to let me do it. Ever since then, I've been able I've been in incredible physical shape. It was also when I decided to form a group with my brother. We called ourselves the Flying Dingling the Flying Dingling Berries. It's nearly a household name. I was waiting for the pun. And there's the pun. I've even heard of them in Germany. Liar. The point, <laughs> the point is that I wanted to be, be of some use to the circus. Hmm. You truly are remarkable, young man. Judge keeps looking at Acro, almost like a proud father. Hmm. I wanted to find a way to repay the ringmaster. Did you ever have any trouble with the ringmaster? Ow! How could you ask such a thing, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Do you have some sort of fundamental misunderstanding of this witness testimony? Or the heartfelt emotions contained within? You better think about this, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You better think hard. Damn, stop whipping me! Hmm, no matter how you look at it, there's no way I could see the witness ever taking the victim's life. Exactly. I've been waiting for you to say that, Your Honor. Nick, I hate to say it, but I agree with them. I was trying to chase down the truth, but I ended up just looking like a jerk. I think that'll be enough for now. Pondering whether or not this man would kill the ringmaster leads me to believe that. It is pretty unlikely. Exactly right, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, I'd like to ask you a question. Go ahead, Your Honor. I just would like to know. Can you prove an example? Uh, can you prove an explanation as to why Arco would want the ringmaster dead? I can't, because he didn't want him dead. Nick? Yeah, I didn't even have to think about it. It was obvious from the start. Your Honor, the reason that Arco killed the ringmaster is something that, I, that can't be proven. What? That's because Acro had no reason to kill the ringmaster at all. Ow, what the hell? Foolish attempts to fool us like fool like foolish fools are so foolhardy foolish. What? Did you forget? You made an accusation against this witness, did you not? I did. I didn't say he meant to kill him. I believe it was this is the real killer of Russell Berry, Ringmaster. If you want to jump to the end of things, then yes, that sounds about right. The end of things. Acro. You didn't plan to kill the Ringmaster at all, did you? The Ringmaster wasn't your target that night. What did you just say? I'm saying that the target that the target this witness uh, this witness's murderous plot was not the ringmaster. Because it was never his intention to kill Russell Berry to begin with. What? Order. Order I say. Bailiff, Bailiff. <laughs> Fucking whatever. Bailiff, I don't care who it is, smack anyone who's loud in the face twice if you must. Mr. Wright, what in the world are you trying to do in my court? Ow! Mr. Phoenix Wright, what in the world are you trying to do to his court? Why'd you hit him? Are you hit, are you attempting to imply that Arco was uh, trying to kill someone else? Yeah, Regina. Regina Barry? This young girl is the ringmaster's daughter, correct? Acro, you were really aiming for her that night, were you? Oh, someone's all serious now. You don't need to answer that. It's a mean-spirited leading question. 
you could easily answer this question. If I'm wrong, all he has to say is, you're wrong. That's it. That's it, huh, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Enough, Mr. Wright. Allow me to. Ah! The only thing allowed to inter the only thing allowed to interrupt me is death itself. Huh? And that goes for you too, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Show me evidence now. I want to know why Acro would want to kill Re kill Regina. Hmm. Yes, me too. I'm determined to see some proof. Present evidence that proves Acro was out to kill this young girl. Well, this proves that he was out to kill her. It doesn't prove why, but it proves he was out to kill her. Acro, you remember this, don't you? That's... It's a piece of paper that we found inside the Ringmaster's tailcoat. Inside the victim's tailcoat? Acro wrote this note. It's ironically entitled to The Murderer. Its purpose was to call someone to the plaza at 10 p.m. So you're saying that he called Russell Berry with that note? Yes, but there's just one little problem. Problem? Agro didn't... Agro did indeed place this note into someone's pocket. However, that someone was not the ringmaster. You mean, it wasn't for... That's exactly what I mean. The person this note was intended for was none other than Regina Berry. Order! Order! Mr. Wright! This little theory of yours... It's the truth, Your Honor. Isn't It isn't a theory. Simply put, Regina didn't think the note was meant for her. Which is why, the morning of the crime, she placed it on the cafeteria's, ca cafeteria's bulletin board. And that's when her father, I mean, the ringmaster, saw the note. That's correct. The ringmaster ended up in the plaza instead of Regina. And he was killed because of that mistake, instead of Regina. That's... That's incredible. Remember the testimony that Acro gave us earlier today? Lifting the bus and looking out the window would have been impossible. There's no way I could have exerted that kind of force my uh, from my lower body. If I were to do that, I end up falling out the window myself. Acro had no idea who it was that arrived in the plaza, because he couldn't look down out the window to see who it actually was. I got it, I got it. Acro thought it was Regina down in the pa in the plaza. And that's when he left the bus fly. Hey, Nick. Isn't Regina listening to all this from the audience? Yeah! She is, unfortunately. It's only gonna get harder from here. I hope Regina can handle it. Acro wrote this note to Regina? Foolishly foolish fool with foolishly foolish fool ideas of foolishly tomfoolery. You're so foolish you even made me sound like a foolhardy fool. Very well, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What the hell? There's snow outside my window. Made a lot of noise. Very well, Mr. Phoenix Wright. If you're so sure, then tell us... Why did I whistle there when I said that? Uh, that was like a lisp. <laughs> If you're so sure, then tell us, uh, tell us about this line. I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Yes. About that line. Well, if the note was meant for Regina Berry, it wouldn't mean that... I feel like she's gonna have to question me some shit. Something's gonna happen. This note is declaring that Regina Berry is a murderer. If you just don't... you just don't get it, do you? What? What did you say? The ringmaster knew what the note meant, which is why he went to the plaza, in place of his lovely daughter. Hold it right there, Mr. Wright. What is this incident that is a hold in the note? A laud, a hold, whatever. The incident six months ago. I know all about it. An incident occurred six months ago, and now I'm more than ready to show this court what happened at that time. Moron! Wait, are you sure it's related to the present case? It does indeed, Your Honor. Everything in this case has uh, has its start in what happened six months ago. Really, Nick? I, <laughs> I think so. 
Well then, if that's the case, hurry up and tell us about it. What is this conclusive evidence mentioned in the note? I know I certainly like to know what, what it is. If I can't answer that question, the judge is gonna think I'm bluffing. The conclusive evidence about, about the, uh, blah, 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 blah. It's the small pepper. Hmm? Achoo! <laughs> what kind of spicy joke is this, Mr. Phoenix Wright? It isn't a joke at all. It's the decisive evidence you asked for. What, what do you mean? Recall that the victim was trying to take the wooden box away with him. If he was doing so because this piece of decisive evidence is what's inside, another unbelievable conclusion. Very well, Mr. Wright. So what exactly are you saying? Are you claiming Regina Berry killed someone with a small bottle of pepper? Taking the note into account, that's the only logical conclusion you can draw. A foolish fool who never tries his own foolish ways. If you're, if you're so sure, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then answer this question. Who is Regina Berry's int intended victim? Her intended victim? I don't think it was intended at all, but, uh... Who's this? It's Akira's younger brother. What does this prove? His younger brother isn't dead. Technically, that's true. However, that has been in the coma for six months now. It's not a stretch to see how Akira could feel that his brother's dead. Regina, she did this to him? Do you spend your entire life dreaming of new ways to be a fool? Naturally, the prosecution has looked into Akira's brother's Sean Dingle. Dingling. Fuck. Six months ago, he was bit he was bit by a lion and fell into his current comatose state. A, a lion? Regina, I mean Miss Regina Berry, is an animal tamer by trade. However, no tamed animal in that position is ever trained to attack another human. The, uh, they wouldn't understand the command. Moreover, Miss Regina could never do something like that. It's just not her. First of all, that's such a flimsy fucking thing to say in any testimony testimony ever. Fucking just, oh no, they're not like that. It's like, how the fuck do you know how someone's like? <laughs> so then what happened to Akra's brother? He's not the victim of an attempt murder. He's the victim of an accident. I see. Now what do we do? No one seems to be going along with their theory. Do you think what happened to Bat was actually an accident? Fuck that. The lion biting bite was no accident at all. What? You're such an amateur, Phoenix Wright. There's no way that Regina would ever incite her lion to attack another human being. She may have not incited the lion to attack another human being. But Regina is responsible for making the lion bite Akro's uh, brother's head. What? <laughs> How? Uh, we're shot. Regina is responsible for making the lion bite his head. Huh? Circus remount. What? Is it the... Am I supposed to use this? Stain with blood and smell quantity of pepper. Oh. I didn't see that. That's... That's just a scarf. Acro. This scarf is something that Bat used to wear, correct? That's right. And who is the other... Who is the one that gave the scarf to Bat? R Regina. Regina gave it to him. Regina? There's something more than just blood on the scarf, Your Honor. What might that be? Pepper. 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 Regina gave the scarf to Bat right before the accident, and she covered it with as much pepper as she could. What? Uh... Yeah, I don't... Is that fucking bird pecking me? What the hell? Um, excuse me, Mr. Phoenix, right? I don't think... I don't think Regina would do that. I don't... Unless she was trying to play a 
joke or something or didn't understand what was going on? What? You've done a good job fingering a, uh, fingering a criminal. But out of curiosity, what was her crime? Um... Miss Barry gave a pepper-covered scarf to Bat as a present. Where's the crime in that? Seals still seems like the judge just doesn't get it. Hmm. Mr. Phoenix Wright. Wasn't it said that the lions seemed to be smiling? Smiling? The lion was smiling? Right before, bite, uh, right before Bat was bit by the lion. For a moment, the lion's mouth changed and looked like it was smiling. Lions smile? I never heard of them smiling, however. Maybe it was sneezing? Even the bird's mad. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? He's like, how dare you? Lion sneeze. Okay. That's what I was getting at. It's like, he sneezed. He was going, ah, What? 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 Leon wasn't trying to bite bad at all. It was sneezing. In reality, all he actually did was sneeze. He sneezed because of all the pepper on the scarf. What? What? You fool! Uh, you gotta be kidding me. What, what's the matter, Miss Von Karma? I, I object for objection's sake. Mr. Phoenix Wright, you, this theory, you can't believe it. You really intend to say that this is how this joke of an accident actually happened? Of course I do. It's the truth. The lion sneezed due to the pepper, and that's when Bat lost consciousness. Acro nearly lost his brother due to this accident, or this joke, as you put it. Which is why he tried to get his revenge against Regina. You foolish idiot! <laughs> it almost does seem like a terrible joke, doesn't it? Once again, I'm impressed by your imagination, Mr. Wright. Uh, to think that there's someone who treats this accident with the respect it deserves. Are you telling me that what I said was true? A Agro? You don't mean. You can't mean. Witness! Are you confirming the defense's claim? Mr. Wright? Unfortunately, your imagination is not enough to find me guilty of murder. What? What do you mean by that? The pepper, the scarf, the lion. I see where you're going, but it's a bit hard to swallow. Not to mention the fact that there's an even bigger problem with your theory. What would that problem be? The same problem it always been. Evidence. If I drop Max's bus on top of Regina's, uh, on top of the Ringmaster, where's the evidence that proves that claim? Huh? Hmm. You mean the conclusive evidence? The biggest problem is the murder weapon, or the lack thereof. What? The murder weapon it was never found. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> the murder weapon. Motherfucker. The bus that the defense claim was used. If that were to be found in Acro's room, and if it was covered with the victim's blood, that would be awfully conclusive in my eyes. Yes, it would be. The bust. Nick, you gotta do something. This is the last step. If I get this one right, the case is won. We'll see things work out first. Request to search Akko's room. No, 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 no. No. Might be worthwhile to search Akko's room, but... Why aren't you going to search his room? It looks like you finally figured things out, didn't you? What do you mean, search his room? He would have definitely hit it already. Now you know the true meaning of Von Karma Total Justice. I guess... I figure with you that's at least I should expect- Wait, what? I figure with you that's the least I should expect. Leave no stone unturned. Eye of Von Karma never leaves anything to chance. We already searched Akro's room yesterday. Yeah, see? There's no reason. What- What did you find? There's no reason to even say it. 
If we found what you think we found in the room, Agra would not be here as a witness. But to pull a point on, uh, but to put a point on it, Max's bus was not in his room. The murder weapon is still unaccounted for. You see, Mr. Wright? The bus wasn't in my room. Furthermore, Detective Dick Gumshoe executed the search by a complete surprise. And we took Agro's uh, directly to the pr prosecution office after that. End of story. Just wait a second. It's something funny about all this. <laughs> it looks like you like the final nail to put in my coffin. But what about the scarf? What about the note? What about them, Mr. Wright? No offense, but the only evidence that is relative here is that which pertains to the death of the Ringmaster. You should know that by now. Son of a bitch. Do something, Nick. Don't let this case slip away. The bust, where is it now? Hmm, where's the bust? The Phoenix Wright! You know where the bust is? I'm sure you do. The bust. The bust. Where's the bust? I gotta find the bus. It's not only with a single clue. I'm supposed to know where the bust is. Hey, hey, don't do a verdict just yet. It seems this case is coming to a close. The defense counter-argument looks to have fallen short. Thank you for your support. Son of a bitch. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Wright. I think this brings an end to the cross-examination of this witness. Who was it? Was it Mo? Was it Regina? Who did it? Where is Max's bus? The defense needs time to prepare the present. Uh, the pre uh, fuck. <laughs> the defense needs time to prepare the pr uh, present its lace. What? The defense needs time to prepare to present its lace. Lace? I mean, case. What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit nervous. I just bit my tongue. Huh? What? We need time. Ah! Why are you the most surprised person here? She's your aide, isn't she? Don't you? Do you really have a, a case to present, Mr. Wright? What? what uh, you asking me? The rest is up to you, Nick. Good luck. Hey, what? You can't be serious. Acrobats always have their lives on the lines, don't they? That's how Agro lives. His life is a... He's not carrying in his fucking wheelchair, is he? <laughs> now it's time for us to walk across our own tightrope. If you don't, we're certain to lose. Very well. The defense may proceed. He doesn't have a clue, and I don't think he'll be finding one anytime soon. Walking the tightrope of logic, there's no room for a false step. <sighs> Sink or swim. The only way through this is forward. The murder weapon. Where is Max Bus now? Somewhere in the lodging house? Somewhere in Big Top? It's in this courtroom. He's carrying with him! Check his wheelchair! It's obvious. The bus is inside this very courtroom. It's obvious? Where? Allow me to pinpoint the location of the bus once and for all. The witnesses stand. Agro! I'm sorry to ask this, but... Do you mind if we take the blanket off your wheelchair? I'm sorry. I didn't quite hear you, Mr. Wright. Well, you're a very big guy. You have a pretty big wheelchair because of it. I just wanted to make sure you weren't hiding anything under that blanket. The blanket that they never showed us once, I want to point out. Because it seems to me that it's it's been really easy to say, nah, hide a bus under there. <laughs> Once again, your your pregent for humor your pregent? Your pinchant? What? I don't even know that word, I'll be honest. Your humor hits me where it hurts, Mr. Wright. I think it's pretty amazing that you can laugh in your own position. However, the lightheartedness doesn't change the fact that the bus is under there. We all know that you can't leave the dodging, uh, dodging, you can't leave the lodging house by yourself in your condition. That proves inconvenient when Miss Von Karma happens to search your room yesterday. 
If she had found the murder weapon in your room, it would have been all over. Which is why you had to hide it in the only place that you could hide it. Under your wheelchair. Which is why, Hakro, I have to ask you again. Would you please remove the blanket from your lap? Well done, Mr. Wright. Masterfully played. You! You fool! How could you? You got me. I've been bagged by the real pro. Actually, two of them. Two of them. <laughs> Part made me so upset when they randomly revealed he had a blanket. Yeah, like... Fucking, uh... <laughs> Like, they they never showed him in the blanket, but the only reason I could think about it is because I'm like, isn't there a fucking compartment in the bottom of the wheelchair where you can carry bags and shit? So, maybe he's hiding it in there. It's Francesca Von Karma and Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? There's just one thing i like to know. How did you know to launch the surprise search on my room last night? Huh? There were two pieces of decisive evidence, the cloak and the bust. I burnt the cloak in my room and threw the ashes away with the trash. Regina always took my trash out every morning, you know. But the bust, obviously I couldn't throw that away. When you, when you, ex uh, fuck. <clears throat> when you executed your search, all I could do was try and hide the bust. And the only place that I could hide it quickly was under this wheelchair. Miss Von Karma? You had things all figured out, didn't you? It was complete. I was completely sucked in by your calculated strategy. And now to be caught in the middle of the court hiding the murder weapon. There's no way I can escape that. So you got me. Well done, Mr. Wright. Well done, Miss Varkama. Hmm. It all makes sense now. <laughs> but I kept avoiding that option. Think it could be clearly seen. Not that there was a blanket cover in it. Yeah, I, I'm gonna be honest, it was just a hunch. It's like, listen, dude's in a wheelchair, can't fucking get out the room by himself. How can you quickly just dispose of it? And it's like, the answer is you don't dispose of it, you hide it. But where can, where can a fucking paraplegic hide it? Hmm. I can't believe that Von Karma thought that far ahead, it's amazing. Uh-huh, you definitely c couldn't tell by looking at her. I don't think she did. I know I sure couldn't. I can't believe it. Me? Make a mistake? Why did I order a surprise search of your room? If only I hadn't done that. It seems we finally arrived at the truth. Acro? Yes, Your Honor? Did you kill the ringmaster of Barry Big Circus, Miss Ru uh, Mr. Russell Barry? Yes, Your Honor. I'm responsible for that crime. Acro? All my brother wanted was for Regina to like him. That's why he teased her. One day, my brother sprinkled some pepper on Regina. She started sneezing so hard, he couldn't help yourself from laughing. That's why Regina thought it'd be funny to get him back in the same way. And that's why she covered the scarf with pepper. I know she didn't mean for anything bad to happen, I know this. She just wanted to make my brother sneeze a few times, too. But, I just couldn't forgive her, no matter what. What I'm truly guilty of, I'm guilty of never, ever being able to understand her. Your brother became a star. Regina believed in that so purely. That she would laugh innocently when saying it too innocently. I just couldn't stand it, no matter how hard I tried. And that's when you decided to do something about Regina. How dreadful. So, you're saying that you were a victim in all this as well? No, that's not what I mean. I'm nothing but a murderer. That's who I am. At first, I thought I killed myself. Then I pondered giving myself up. But, I couldn't just up and leave. I just couldn't. 
Not yet. That's why I tried to pin this on Max. Max, I'm so sorry. I just... I just... I just couldn't up and leave yet. This has... this has been such a strange case. It's almost a reflection of the circus itself. I'm an idiot! I can't believe it! You beat me? Again? <laughs> please don't, please don't wet me again. I believe this case is now beyond any point of possible decision. Thus, I'd like to declare my verdict. Not guilty. Damn, dude! I hurts! <laughs> this court is adjourned. Fuck this trial! God damn it. There's nothing but sadness. My heart hurts now. F fabulous. What do you mean fabulous? How do you feel happy about this? I mean, of course you can feel happy about this, but still. But to be honest, I can't really be too happy about this. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> Macro, the ringmaster, Regina, and Bat. Not a single one of them was a bad person inside, huh? That's a good question, and one that I don't know the answer to. <laughs> Many congrats, but only at max, a million of them. Mm, thank you. Mm, what's with the vibe in this room? We're just thinking about Acro. No, 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 no. If you were worried about people too much, then you'll be like this forever, and never be happy. Huh. No. To feel bad. She's been like this for a while now. I mean, yeah, she just got hit by reality. S sweetie, sweetie pie, Bat and Acro, they're never coming back. Now everyone's gonna split up. Regina, Mr. Wright, tell me something. What do you want to know, Regina? Acro said something right at the end. I just couldn't end up and I just couldn't up and leave yet. Does that mean that Acro is he gonna try and get his revenge on me? No, I don't think so. He's talking about his brother. He's not gonna do that to you, Regina. Are you sure? Are you really sure? I can believe that? Yep. Acro doesn't have any desire for revenge anymore. If that's true, then I wanna see some evidence. Huh? What? I see what? <laughs> Fuck it. This, this, this trial hurts, man. I love how this went from like my least favorite trial so far to just like one of the most hard hitting trials. Like, really, at the ending there, it just came and smacked me across the face. I want to know why you're not just making up the stuff about Acker not wanting revenge. Uh, well, because your dad's dead. Uh, huh. I mean, he was talking about his brother. Right? I, I assume. Agro didn't want to get caught for a reason. He wanted to see his brother open his eyes again. B Bat? That's right, Regina. He's still alive, you know. I, I never knew. But how? But now that acro has been caught... Uh-huh. I know. What? I'll do it. I'll stay next to Bat as long as it takes. Until he opens his eyes. And, and until he can meet Acro again. That's so sweet of you, Regina. I'm sorry, Acro. I'm sorry, Bat. Well, hopefully this is enough to give her a little peace of mind. Hey, Max. What is it, Mo? I really put you through a lot, didn't we, buddy? I'm sorry about what happened. So whatever you like to leave us, I'll pay your fee and rip off the contract. I understand. What a fabulous thing to do for me. I might even leave tomorrow. What's gonna happen to the circus now? Uh, that's a big question. The ringmaster was really an amazing person, wasn't he? Hmm... 
Even though he's not here anymore, everyone is sticking together. The staff, the performers, no one wants to leave the circus. That's why I made a decision. What is that? I've decided that I'll take over as the new ringmaster. I'll turn the circus into the best circus this world has ever seen. Hmm. The best circus the world has ever seen. Don't, don't laugh. That's quite, that's quite a goal. Yeah, I can't wait. Then I guess that changes things. Huh? There's only one thing that the best circuit the world has ever seen needs. The world's best illusions. Which means the circus needs the best magician the world has ever seen. Max. Let's work together and make our circus super fabulous. What do you say, big guy? I don't know what to say. All I can say is thank you. Regina? You're gonna help them out too, aren't you? Uh, I don't know. Maybe the circus would be better off without me. What are you talking about, Regina? Why do you think that I brought you to the court today? Huh? We gotta work together to make the very big circus bigger than it ever been, uh, bigger than it's ever been. M no. Mo's right, sweetie pie. It can't be the very big circus without Regina Barry. M Max. Nick. SpongeBob. <laughs> it's <laughs> everybody saying names here. <laughs> it seems like everything is going to turn around. Gonna turn out all right. I can't wait to go see the best circus the world has ever seen. We'll save you the most fabulous seats. It'll take us a while to get ready, but I'm going to order special whoopee cushion seats. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I, I had no fucking gusto in that laugh whatsoever. <laughs> oh. Damn. Oh, wait, what? I see. What made the case? Yesterday's surprise raid really paid off just like you said it would, sir. Hmm. You had it all figured out, didn't you? It was just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. <laughs> if Arco really was the killer, I thought this was the only way he could do it. Especially if he was the defense attorney. You mean Mr. Wright? Come on, Miles, show your fucking face. I know it's you, you son of a bitch. Of course. Well, Detective, my plane is about to leave. As for Mr. Arco's case, you need not worry. I plan personally stop by the chief prosecutor's office as soon as I get back. Oh, look at him! <laughs> Fucking punished Edgeworth. I'll be waiting for you, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, uh, look at him! After years of hard training and reevaluating his life. <laughs> Fucking Miles Edgeworth. Oh, I still had tr- Oh! I had notifications on the whole entire time. Oops. That could have been bad. <laughs> Brand new episode has been added! Episode 4. Farewell my turnabout. Damn! <laughs> oh, shit. Well. That's gonna be it for tonight's stream. Holy shit. <laughs> For tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow, I'll either be going back to Corpse Party, or, or maybe this, I'm not sure, in case something, if something else turns up tomorrow, I'll probably change everything, but right now, it's either Phoenix Wright or Corpse Party, probably Corpse Party, I think we're nearing the end of Corpse Party, so I, I might as well finish that, because I want to play the other Corpse Party games too, but, damn, that's a good fucking trial, that's a good case. Fuck. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. Oh, God. Edgeworth is back. Everything's going crazy. It's popping off. Not but good feels. <laughs> Not but good feels. Not but good and bad. So, I feel like there's something... I feel like there's something I had to say at the end of this. Um, nope. There actually isn't. Now that I think about it. Nope. We're, we're fine. We're fine. I think I can save whatever the hell I was going to save for tomorrow. But, yeah, that's going to be it for tonight's stream. <laughs> that was good as hell. I liked it. Even though I can't read half the damn time. I want to thank everybody who came to the stream to watch it live and are watching it on the VOD. The VOD is weird. I hate the VOD. I, I, don't, I don't believe the VOD. I don't. It lies to me. 
But for those who came to watch on Twitch, I thank you very much. <laughs> it fucking it helps out a lot. Oh man, I'm just my mind is blown. My mouth is dry. I need some water. Been talking for four hours straight. With no sustenance. So Alright. Tomorrow, same time scheduled on the fucking Twitch page. <laughs> We're probably it's probably gonna be Corpse Party. Right now I'm just gonna say it's gonna be Corpse Party. If it's not Corpse Party, then I apologize, but it'll it'll probably be like the Corpse Party. There's a lot going on in there. And I'm also trying out some new some new recording techniques for other games uh, that are kind of harder to record, a.k.a. the 3DS. So maybe, maybe next week I'll be able to show that off. I'm not sure. But as of right now, I'm still testing some things out. Uh, what is it? On YouTube, the whole Spider-Man playthrough should be up by now for Miles Morales. And then, of course, the archive stuff is going up uh, for last week. So, Parasite Eve is pretty much done. And then, yeah, that's it. So, once again, those on Twitch, thank you for watching it live. Thanks for watching the VODs. For those on YouTube, thank you for watching. It helps out a lot. I greatly appreciate it. And I have fun with all this. I, I, highly, I highly suggest people to come and watch it live. It's fun that way, even though I'm stupid. <laughs> Good night, man. I'll see you later, shit. <laughs> but, damn, I can't wait to finish this. I can't wait to do the rest of Phoenix, right? So, as always, once again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. <laughs>